Welcome to the Michael Jordan Film Room, aka the Kobe Bryant Film Room. Welcome to the watch party, y'all. Michael Jordan's classic 63, iconic 63 point game, man, where he took on the 86 Celtics, one of the greatest teams of all time, right? In the Eastern Conference, game two, right? Game two. Now, Jordan, let me give you a little bit of a background. Uh, so Jordan's just coming off a 49-point game performance, right? Amazing shit. Jordan was putting in work. So this is where Jordan took his game to unheard of levels, right? This is where Jordan just erupted, right? And really proved how great he actually was on that basketball court. So, y'all like and subscribe, hit the notification buttons, and without further ado, let's get into it. The starting lineups for game two are the same as they were for game number one, starting out with the Chicago Bulls. Their leading scorer, Orlando Woolridge, up front, top rebounder, rookie Charles Oakley, and veteran Dave Corzine. In the backcourt, Michael Jordan and Kyle Macy, playmaker, Stan Olbeck, in his first year as coach in Chicago. Stan For the Olbeck. Boston Celtics, their frontcourt, Kevin McHale, Larry Bird, and Robert Parrish, all amongst the league leaders in scoring and shooting. And on the backcourt, Dennis Johnson, the catalyst on defense, Danny Ainge, Casey Jones, another marvelous job as coach of the Celtics. Jake O'Donnell and Jack too. Milton Woo! are the officials, and Jack Needs will be the alternate. And we're underway here. The Celtics in white, the Bulls in red, right, and the Boston Patrol. Let's get it, y'all. DJ in the pick. We'll check the matchup. Started by Jordan. Good pass. Uh huh. McHale somehow firing. Stand all back, hoping that their center, Dave Corzine, will be able to muscle Kevin McHale, take his inside game press. away from him. But the Celtics have a definite size advantage over the Chicago Bulls, who may be a little quicker, uh -huh. but they prefer not to run. At least they didn't yeah. in the first game. Jordan misses, and McHale gets the rebound. So Jordan, no dice. Danny Ainge had a fine year. Look how they guard the Larry post. Bird. Guarded by Woolridge. Ah! Bird the best rebound for Chicago. Amazingly, in the regular season, in the season series, the Bulls had an edge in offensive rebounding over the Celtics. Not many teams can claim that. So, and Sydney Green. This is lack of, like, there's almost no space. In, oh, good block by the, by the Chiefs. As you see in this game, there's almost no spacing in the paint, right? Um. Yeah, it was crammed, man. It was congested. Like, you really had to be a great big man to really score in this time. That I mean, I'm looking at the space and space is, <laughs> his space is crazy. Michael Jordan. I ain't watched this so game in a long time, y'all. The Celtics are going to give a lot of help to Michael Jordan. The first defense against Michael Jordan is Dennis Johnson. He's got to try and keep him out of the okay. middle and angle him off the hoop a little bit. He tried five different players on Jordan. Ultimately, he got a bit fatigued. Danny yeah, Ainge with the rock. Give him the DJ. Johnson, DJ with the brick. In one stretch of the third period. Here's the mic. Up. One of the things I was looking for early, Dick, is the tempo of the game by the Bulls to try and get some cash. That's right a good now. move. Jordan found his way in once again and has his second basket. All four points in the early going. In a minute and a half is transferred. Good shot by Mike. Jordan dumps it in. Mikhail, so Mikhail can go to work. The, league, the man of a thousand moves. The foot speed. One of the greatest post players in NBA history, Kevin Mikhail. Legendary post player. Playoff, Cedric Maxwell. DJ's Gone giving a little bit of the a size to Mike. The Good pass. Because he didn't get the shit smacked. Good pass, but Parrish was there. There wasn't a technical uh -huh. in Corzine involved. Bird giving it to Parrish. Parrish started by Oakley in a big size edge there. He goes up and Corzine oh, yeah, he got with a fine play smack. just stuffed Parrish. And Chicago coming back in a tie game. Jordan Good move by MJ. Couldn't get shit. And already you see that everyone is going to take a hand. The state all back sees two. 
and trying to help Dennis Johnson guard Michael Jordan. If they get by, if Michael Jordan gets by Dennis Johnson, the other Celtics are going to clog up the lane. It looks like. What should Jordan do in that case? Look, Jordan's very aggressive. <laughs> hope that one of his freer players can get an opportunity. Jordan's being rebound. super aggressive the early right on. Pass to one of those free players. Good Bird, pass to Bird. Gets it out to Ames. Nothing there, no space at all. Good move. Good move by Kevin McHale, man. Marzine, with all his beef, is still letting Kevin McHale get the sweet position down and close half court press. Nearly three minutes gone by, opening period, and we're tied. All right. Orlando Woolrich. Good shot. R.I.P. Orlando Woolrich, man. The one game, the Bulls beat the Celtics in the regular game. I think that's where Orlando is at his best, out in the open court. In the first game, the Bulls did not use that speed advantage at all. Harris scored after McHale's miss. Jordan's usage is crazy. Getting the ball down court in a hurry. A lot of ways. Jordan short there. Oh, give me that. Oh, hard work. And we'll have a foul against. Chicago, Dave Corzine commits the foul. Oh, Corzine, an attempt right here, is trying to take away. Yeah, that's too deep. Position, but you can't let he gave, he gave him. <laughs> close to the hoop. Hey, that's super close to the hoop, man. McHale misses the shot. And here's Jordan over to Woolridge. Orlando Woolridge, the Supreme score. The Celtics this season. McHale the rebound out to Ainge. Chicago getting back defensively. Damn, damn. On a rebound, but didn't use it. Ames throws the ball into the third row. And Casey Jones, who has won 60 or more games four times. Both teams shooting well in the opening moments. Yo, watching the game in, uh, in the Boston Gardens, being a Celtics fan, had to be so expensive back in the day, man. What can you do realistically, Tommy? For real, that shit had to be special. who's 6'11". But not a big 6'11 against the likes of McHale, Parrish, and later on Wolf. What they're trying to do, Stan Allback, is put experience against Kevin McHale and Dave Corzine, knowing that the Celtics don't like to use Parrish. He's their second low post option, hoping that the Celtics won't use that against Oakley to take advantage of his inexperience. Here's Parrish, who symbolized the size edge with a 14 rebound average against the Bulls in the six games during the regular year. I think that matchup That's a great average. is their saber matchup whenever they really have Look at that old school socks. <laughs> you gotta love it. They're tied at 10. Okay. It has been tied five times. Corzine moving outside. Bird guarding him. If you want to call him, Bird does not like to guard someone. The basket counts and a good play and a slice move in there by Orlando Woolridge. Interesting matches that match matchup stick by Casey Jones. Bird and Lambert was a good scorer, team. man. And McHale takes Woolrich. Normally you would expect Bird. He don't really get a lot of credit. Case, McHale, he was nice. Wider player will be able to do a better job, take away the speed of Woolrich. McHale with the personal foul and a three-point play by Orlando Woolrich. And Chicago leads 13 to 10. Parrish up yeah. the <laughs> Out of bounds. Chicago Wall. Of course, Larry Bird, as you pointed out many times in the past, is probably one of the best safety men. A good team defender, not perhaps individual defender. So the last thing Casey wants to do is to have Bird guard one of the firepower men for Chicago. All right. It's too much of a burden for Bird. It's a good shot. By Casey Jones, my opinion. Oakley hits from outside. So Oakley hit that shot too. Is now five half scored for the Chicago Bulls. So they have. DJ. What a year and a strong finish for the ninth pick, Charles Oakley. He's going to be a bona fide star in this league if he isn't already. He's got some things to learn, like uh, how to get that shot off in a little post, but boy, does he bang on the ball. Actually drafted by Cleveland and then traded to Chicago with a deal involving Keith Lee, the rookie from Memphis State. Okay, from Virginia, Jordan on DJ. They go Larry Bird the trying to get in the post NBA position. Larry Bird so comes off the screen. Off, not running as well, just like the Bird with another good pass. 
Good shot by DJ. Championship DNA. Those are getting back defensively. Stop that break. When the Celtics put the pressure on the defense by pushing it up fast, that's when they're at their best, both for layups and for post play. Eight on the shot clock. Oakley Good move. Good move by Oak. Charles Oakley at 6'9, leading rebounder for the Bulls this year. A young Charles oh, Oak. Shot shot has to be complete by now. The only man who hasn't scored in the starting group has been Kyle Mason. Goes up. Goes the three. Spun out. Rebound by Oakley. <laughs> Charles Oakley has been playing well for the Bulls this year. Oh, Charles Oakley with a good shot. Mike going to work. Mike going to work. Hey! Yeah, that's a legendary. That's a legendary play right there. That's all you see on Jordan's highlights right there. Jordan going to work. Good move. One on one. You got to hang on Jordan's shooting hand. Most players try to force him to his left to make him bring the ball to you. Biggest lead of the game. Seven points for the Bulls. Under six minutes to go. Good pass. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that front court is crazy. When the Celtics back on the boards and they're perfectly capable of getting those offensive rebounds, that's when they're doubly difficult. Mikhail out to guard Woolrich in the lane. Orlando. Tough shot. Tough defense by Mikhail. Bird the rebound. And the Celtics trailing by five. 525 remaining in the first period. Oakley Good steal. Look at Oak flying the down the court. Back goes in and they oh, that, I don't know if that would have been called today. Yo, y'all see the type of shit Giannis be doing? I don't think that shit would have been called today. Knew what Oakley was going to do there and got position. A master of the half inch. It, it kind of show you the evolution of the game and, and, and how they how they call the game now. Guys is getting, guys is, they letting that shit go today. I seen LeBron do it. I seen Giannis do it, and they don't call shit. And three fouls on Oakley, and he'll come out of the ball game when we return. The Houston Rockets uh, let Sacramento get back in the game last night, and ended up winning to take a two nothing lead in that series. Robert, Robert Reed, Reed twenty nine points. He's been starting in the backcourt. The Lakers with another blowout over San Antonio have a two nothing God, lead. Magic Johnson they with a superb game. Atlanta, 2 0 over Detroit, winning for the right second there. straight time on their home court. Dominique Wilkins, 50 points. But when was the last time you ever yeah, saw the 80s had some high scoring games? Five inch player. Talking about Spud Webb called for goaltending. And here's what happened in the waning seconds of the game Spud Webb, the slam dunk champion, called for goaltending. And the Atlanta Hawks, y'all understand what this nigga like? Good all for Spud Webb as well. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. 19 points, 18 points. Good offensive rebounding by the Celtics. Bird gets free there, but the shot left is no good. But watch Mikhail come along that baseline and just out position Corzine. And then they hang tough. Parrish openly turned him loose. And the Celtics are smart enough that if you don't block them out, they'll keep coming on the glass. Sidney Green has come into the ball game for the Chicago Bulls, replacing Charles Oakley, who's gone out with three personal It's amazing fouls. that the rebounds Green are kind of even. Considering Boston has a better front court. From what was the MVP of the Bulls in midseason, according to all of that, because he's been struggling lately. I think they need a big game from Sidney Green. He'll be guarding Robert Parrish. Good shot. Great. No good. The rebound by Wolverine. And now the Chicago Bulls with the ball in a five point lead. Green's got the speed and the mobility to give Parrish problems. And he can hit outside mm -hmm. too if you need that. Kyle Macy looking inside. There's Sidney Green. Sidney Green with the brick. Danny Ainge picks it up. Gets it to Bird. Bird man. Brick. Johnson is there. DJ. No good. Knocks it away and it's Chicago ball. Dennis Johnson can't believe he wasn't fouled. <laughs> Give some good looks, doesn't he? Larry Bird, by the way, is 0 for 3 shooting and has not scored yet. Michael Jordan has 8 points and is the game high score. Okay, Michael Jordan going to the rack. Michael Jordan, the basket good and a foul. 
Fantastic quickness going to the baseline. They sure got and sent him to the to his left. Watch him come to his left. Dennis Johnson saying, you can have the baseline now. So now Parrish will be able to get in there and at least intimidate him, but he didn't move quick enough. Bill Walton is making an early entrance, and Parrish will come into the first It must be nice having another Hall of Famer come Bill off the Walton. bench. This is crazy. A very key acquisition for the Celtics at 32 years sad, of age. Man. From the L.A. Clippers, Cedric Maxwell comes into the ball game with 4.15 now remaining in the first period. This lead by the Bulls is a much more solid lead today than it was. Bird. Bird makes a point right later. Damn, Bird. Walton's one of the best big man passers in the game. They go Jordan the bringing the ball up the court. Meanwhile, Chicago can open it up to a 10-point lead if they can score here. Rosine against Bird takes it inside. Give me that. The tail gets the rebound. Fails on the I think Kevin McHale's become overrated throughout the years, too, man. The dude was amazing. They were in the open. Oh, good advantage. Corazine being done by Bird in the low post. Okay. Still Boston ball. They didn't score, but a good pass here with Walton the key. Bird is a genius at basketball, yo. Using subtle moves to try and get open. Every move he makes because he lacks athleticism is is quick, fluid, and has a purpose, yo. The Washington Bullets have an early lead over the Philadelphia 76ers. It just ain't worked that time, but Bird is real smooth. Jordan goes up, ball slapped away. Give me that. Jordan winds up with it and draws the foul. Who is that? Michael Jordan, one on one. Oh, let me see. We'll keep you posted on that game. Jordan goes up, ball slapped away, but Jordan okay. winds up with it okay, and draws the foul. Okay, got him on the roof. Playing Michael Jordan, one on one, is for a guy like Dennis Johnson, who's a great defensive player, it's very difficult because. Jordan's got the speed advantage, the quick step. You can't play Jordan one on one. Let's let's just get that out of the way. And Dennis Johnson that time tried to force him to his left, left just a little bit too much room for him to get to the hoop. Walton Young the foul his first, and here's Michael Jordan, rookie of the year last year, and led his team in virtually every category, including rebound. And a ten point lead for the Chicago Bulls. And the crowd getting a bit antsy here. They're not used to the Celtics trailing. There's no pace to the game for the Celtics. The Bulls have got them in dance tempo. Knocked away. Jordan. There we go. Good pass. The only thing Danny Ainge could do. And it'll be a two shot foul. The Celtics with the turnover. Unlikely for that team against Chicago. The foul was on Ainge, and Orlando Woolridge will go to the line and shoot it. Well, that was off a of steal. By like getting him out on the wing, they have a speed advantage there for a fast break basketball. Bird, he's got a bird, and by the time McHale gets up to get him, he could be well up the court if they push the ball up the floor of the ball. Woolridge in his fifth year. Scored 25 points in Brick. the first game, but didn't get underway much early. Right now he has six points. One out of two for Woolridge. It's 25 to 14. The Bulls by 11. Under three minutes to play in the opening period. Oh, a good pass. Johnson. Pass. Dennis Johnson. Celtics have to hit some of those outside shots to open up the inside game. For hey, back then, outside shots was mid-range. <laughs> it was, was a long two. Walton and Bird. That's crazy. Oh. Uh, cash. Eight points now. Tell you, man, Orlando was nice, man. Oh, no, nobody on Danny Ainge. Good pass. Oh, look we'll at that shit out of here. And a timeout is called. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the opening period. The foul is on Sidney Green. Uh, they ain't calling on Jordan. Jordan smacked the shit out of it. First thing the Celtics want to do is not let Michael Jordan get a direct That's too line easy. Look at that straight line game. drive, bro. They That's way too angle easy. Him off the hoop a little bit so that he yeah, you got to angle him. The basket. These two course, men course, are going help. to try and cut down on that penetration even on the angle up. But you see what happens here. Jordan is so good. A little move, and quickly he gets by Dennis Johnson. There's Bird stepping in. He loses the ball, yeah. but the rest. He of had a lot of space to 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 get to the basket, 
But once he got to the basket, they stacked that shit. Are able to pick it up off the floor. So that shit you have group. to go out, stop him, and still worry about the big guys picking the ball off the glass. One of the best scoring performances against the Celtics occurred in game one of the series. Boston won and Jordan was in the second year out of, out of the college. Mind that the 104 points they allowed so he was only a year exactly two when he did that. Their season's defensive average was. So they were not at all disturbed over that. Yeah, yeah, he had 13 already? Shit. On the line is Dennis but he was, he was super aggressive, though. He was taking a lot of shots, too. The Celtics have not played the pace game that they normally do. Push it at you, push it at you. It's important to the Celtics big men. Why? Because R.I.P. Dennis Johnson, man. The double teams One of the all-time greats. That quick. Why haven't they? They're not pacing the ball up the floor. They're walking it up or three quarters. This is what it's about, y'all. It's about history, man. They're concerted effort to push it hard at the defense. Shooting so far, Danny has court press. One time they beat the Celtics, they shot over 50%. Okay. Get the into the paint. One on one. There you go. Going inside to Sydney. Great. No good. That's the kind of shot he has to take, even though that went off. And Walt against the rebound. Yeah, you got to take that. Over the first period. Sydney Green had a game here earlier in the year where he dominated the low post against the Celtics. <laughs> Under two minutes, nine on the shot clock. They go with the McHale. Good move by Kevin McHale, the master in the post. And he hit 10 of 11 against the Bulls. Kevin McHale always reminded me of Frankenstein for whatever reason. Oh, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that. Takes the ball away from him. That was a pickpocket move if there ever was one. Hey. Against the Celtics, and the crowd would agree. Well, that was a foul. I don't know why they booed him. The the Give me that like shit. Michael Jordan, a big guy dribbling, it's too high, easy for him. Huge ass hands, bro. It off. And up he comes anytime he Where's gets the Jordan to bring it up and get it into the painted area. It's going to cause problems for Jerry the Celtics. Seastin. They talked about Walton. Here's the other key man, Jerry Seasting. With Johnson coming out of the ball game, Seasting has given the Celtics that reliable outside shot. 57% shooter from the field, Jerry Seasting, formerly of the Indiana Pacers. There is Gene Banks. Jerry Seasting looked like a, uh, somebody's dad stopper out indeed. there. At a just PTA meeting. Larry Bird, six, eight, <laughs> like, four, like he just left the PTA meeting and put on a jersey. <laughs> San Antonio Spur. In fact, there are four former Spurs on the Chicago Bulls. Jim Banks has really got his hands full, but he's got the intelligence to try and take that hand. Right here from Danny Ainge. Get the Bird in the post. Bird going to work one on one. Hey. Damn, Bird. Walton is there for the easy basket. The ball was there for someone to grab. It was Bill Walton who has two fouls and two points so far. Seasting is guarding Macy. I wouldn't be surprised if George Gervin comes in. Okay, here go Kyle Macy. Macy has not scored yet. The only Kyle Macy wasn't really Corsi doing too much of shit back then. The rebound, and now they're going to call the foul and Banks and Bird <laughs> look at each other, and it looks like Banks was hit. Twenty second time out. Bird. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. No dance. We'll have a timeout. Larry Bird, <laughs> who hit Gene Banks in the head, is that's one thing. You couldn't be a hole playing foul. back then. You had to be a real man. And that's what Larry Bird is doing. 0 for five from the field at this point. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn here at Boston Garden. We'll be hearing from Pat O'Brien later at the half. This is game two of our best of five. First round, the NBA playoffs in the first weekend, and the Chicago Bulls lead the Boston Celtics 29-21 with 57 seconds to go in the first period. Keep in mind, the Bulls, playing, I guess, a different kind of game, also had a lead of 12 points early against the Celtics before they turned it on in game one. But the fact that they're all involved, Dick, is going to make them a lot more confident basketball team. This lead is a substantial lead as compared to the previous Legendary ball game where Casey it was Jones. primarily by Jordan's good play. They're looking at Larry Bird's right hand. And on the line is... Larry Bird is smacking niggas, though. Banks, along with Corzine, John Paxson, and George Gervin are all former San Yo, them Celtics warm, warm ups go hard, bro. They got to bring them to the back. Index finger on Bird. That's going to really affect him. He had that broken finger with, and it's caused him to shooting problems. Mike Sprett 
a rookie from Canisius, Great. Buffalo, New York. Comes into the ball game, he's a seven footer. Banks misses two free throws, and Corzine goes out of the ball game. He scores two points. And he has some good shooting opportunities that didn't pay off. Scott Wedman comes in for Larry Bird, guarded by Banks, ceasing off the screen. They go low down in the kale. The kale, the the kale, the kale Kevin McHale has 10 points. He's the leading scorer for the Celtics. This is the unit that Casey Jones counts on to either produce a lead or create tempo. This is the green team. They didn't really have defined role when the Celtics had their problems around Christmas. All right, get it up. It's the MJ. Cash. Jordan from the corner, and now the Celtics playing for the last shot, trailing by eight points, 31 to 23. The Garden of way out there. Put a little bit of pressure on Making them adjust this game. Because Danny Ainge was just casually bringing the ball up the floor. You got to put a little bit of pressure on him and make him make a decision. by Ray Melchiori. I don't know what finger it is, Dick, but, uh, you know, he broke that index finger playing softball his senior year in college. And uh, it's troublesome enough for him to shoot. It's amazing to me that one of the toughest competitors in NBA history, like man. Sidney <laughs> Green with a second foul. As long as that crooked road leads to the NBA Finals, that's all. Cash, lace. By the way, Bird finally did rid himself of those back and elbow problems this year. He started out shooting well under 10, 45 percent, and then got high in the latter stages of the year. Mikhail's all right, full court press. Here we go. Six seconds to go. Banks uh -huh. has Walton on his back. Macy shot. Yep. Cash. The basket counts, and the Chicago Bulls who lost 52 games this year, have taken a 33 to 25 lead, and Larry Bird has yet to score a point in game two of this best of five series. Yeah, Larry started out struggling. Look at these graphics, this is some old ass shit right here. But it's classic, it's vintage. It puts you in the era, it puts you in the Chicago movie. has an eight point lead as we start the second period, but this was a key play as far as Larry Bird and the Celtics go. Well, that's the penalty you pay. Larry Bird is ah, a team fuck, defender. Nigga. Good pick, and, and Bird tries to that his way Man, it. come on. Doing that hurts his hand, and you can see already yeah, he got frustrated. that right hand, and it ended up in he got frustrated. his two fingers. <laughs> now he gets a little angry and goes at the Banks, which I don't think was quite fair. Because Banks, Banks was really played good offense that time. Now you see uh, well, well, Banks whacked the last two so. fingers. Smaller tape, Bird, I think Ray Bird ain't going to be thinking Bird's about all that tape. shit in the moment. Oh, last look, look. Finger. Bird ain't going to be thinking about, oh, great defense. I'm not going to get mad. <laughs> it's like, look at that index finger. He's got a bump on that, that index finger. Looks like Mount Everest. Bird was 0 for 5. He'll apologize later when he sees it on the screen. And did not score. Keep in mind that Bird was the only player in the NBA this year to finish in the top 10 in five of the eight categories. That's crazy. That's insane. And He's putting in work. Perhaps for his third consecutive MVP award. Meanwhile, we start the second period and the Bulls lead Bird's by best eight. year. You know, on that injury, Bird really, as a team defender, backed in and, and Banks smartly picked him off so Kwasi could get the shot off. Leading scorers, Jordan for Chicago and McHale for Boston. Nick Stockton and Tom. And there goes Jordan, Jordan come off the screen. Coming around the screen. There goes Jordan. Carlisle in the game stage. Brick. Misses. And here's Walt. Gets right, she, the she's the right picks it up. So Carlisle's Get money. Game. Rick Carlisle, second year out of Virginia. Good perimeter shooter and a very smart player, although not fast. Wetman gets it in. There we go, Walton. To Walton, I should say, and a foul call against Mike Streck. The, the Celtics do not have much speed in there right now. Well, this is the fastest unit they have, Dick, to tell you the truth. Wetman at that fall. Yeah, they got some monsters in the post there. Who's about to re-enter the ball game. They don't but, need speed. Uh, this is what they count this team to be a fast break unit. Uh, Bird's going to be in there replacing the Kale. And the one thing about the Celtics is they usually ran. For the Celtics. You know? As quick as they got. Fool me. There goes Bird trying Bird. to go to work, trying to get involved. Double good pass. That is a good foul. Michael Jordan can miss the foul. One of the things the Bulls wanted to do was to take that foul early. When it looked as if the Celtics were going to get an easy two, and there's an example. Well, when you double team Bird, you better cut off the guys cutting to the basket, and it was much too late developing. Mike Smreck 
The seven foot rookie goes out of the game, and Orlando Woolridge can play two minutes. points in the first period comes back in. So Sydney Green, Orlando Woolridge. Well, the tempo of the game may pick up with this unit in for the Bulls now, with Sydney Green being the center. And Woolridge at the wing. Maybe they'll turn them loose. It is a quicker team. Yes. Much. And, and they'll be playing against the fastest that the Celtics had to offer in the Bulls. Hey, have a Bill Walton looked like Will Ferrell. <laughs> There you go. But you got to practice it. And there has to be a way of life for a team. That's what Stan Holbeck said. They, uh, oh, they pressure uh, on them. Just work together long enough to get it there down. There you go. It's not an fast break, but aren't able to ah. Wilbert's shot misses. And Stan Holbeck was looking for interference and a goaltend call against Wall. Instead, the Celtics have the ball. We have a Half minute to go by in the second period, and it's a six-point Chicago lead at 33 to 27. Get it to the big man. Walton guarded by Green. Walton, the good Green post playmaker. And see, the there's a reason why they got the ball to Walton at the um in the uh by the free throw line because he's a good playmaker. You know, Walton, one of the biggest, one of the greatest passing big men ever as well. Sydney Green. Gene Banks. They say, go, Walt. If you're going to kill us from out there, be my guest. Wetman is on Banks. Banks goes up. Mm -hmm. Walton, another no good. Walton has seven All rebounds. All right. Celtics pushing the pace. Carlisle guarded Get by it to Bird. Bird. Let Bird go to work. That's enough. Oh, Bull hey. Wetman. Hey. Scott Wetman, who is is a starter when Kevin McHale was out of action with his Achilles injury had an 11-3 record as a starter with the Celtics. That was great rotation defense that time by the Bulls the with defense. Michael Jordan and yet Whitman, the quick shooter, still got an easy shot off. Kyle Macy ceased There you go, one-on-one. -on -one. George Gervin gets off the Let's bench. Get money. For the first Gives time. it up. Green working against Walton. Sidney Green, no good. Walton stats that board. Good pass. The travel. Yep. You don't often see that. I've seen that shit. In white and green. Sydney Green. And George Man, Bird off his game so far. Game for the Chicago Bulls, who still lead, but now it's four. Take a look at the Western Conference first round. Also Boy, Magic ain't Island. playing with them niggas. <laughs> so does Houston. <laughs> Dallas and Denver have a one nothing lead in their respective series. Magic won't play Utah with them niggas at Dallas all. Tonight. And a couple of key performers. Mark McGuire with back spasms is questionable for the Dallas Mavericks. Adrian Dantley will not play for the second straight time for the Utah Jazz. Well, I think Dantley is as important to his ball club as McGuire is to his, so it might cancel each other out. But they are, if either one of them is able to play, that's going to give his team a tremendous advantage. Thanks. Right in the middle there is number eight, George Gervin. Who will be 34 oh, years of age a week from today. Ice. 14th year, but his first with Chicago. Played One of the smoothest scores of all time. The that finger roll coming down the lane. With over 26,500 points. Yes, sir. All-time playoff scoring average. Is and right. I don't think they mention him enough as one of the greatest uh, shooting guards of all time. They don't mention him enough. They act like he don't exist, really. They, they barely talk about him. Behind Jerry and then they wonder why the younger fans are uh, are uneducated because they don't ever bring it up on all these debate shows and all these basketball talk. They never talk about the Iceman. That's so George Gervin was really had to make a, it's crazy. Guess, a traumatic adjustment don't make no damn going sense. from San Antonio to Chicago coming off the bench here. Playing a lot less minutes, but he's always been great in the low post. And I know these young kids don't care about the Ice Man, but you gotta you gotta make them care. You gotta teach them so that they can have some respect for what he accomplished. Good move by Gene Banks. That is the best of Gene Banks under control. Good shit. Gonna look for more isolation plays. Get the ball to the post. Get it to Bird. Bird been playing like shit. Right now, Michael Jordan is on the bench, and we have an illegal defense call against Chicago. <laughs> okay, so let's go back and look at that in, illegal defense. Okay, so here goes Bill Walton's man coming to trap. That's what it is. See, and he's not near. He's not anywhere near his man. Then you have, I think that's Seasting. Who is that? 
or Whitman. Whitman on the opposite side. Now, His man Jordan is nowhere in position. They have an illegal defense call against Chicago. <laughs> they had three guys past that imaginary line down the middle of the foul line, Wade. <laughs> it, it took them a while to call an illegal defense. Bird saw it. Nine and a half minutes to go in the first there half. There you go. Oh, Great. <laughs> I think you got shoved like a little <laughs> It remind me of um, NBA Jam when you get pushed. Who? <laughs> Who? back in the game for the Celtics. Hey, that's from all my old school dudes right there. And NBA Jam. Ooh, who? Who? Y'all go against Carl Malone. Carl Malone pushing you, following you up the court. Who? 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 He turns the white hot white heat when he's really firing away. Shot forty-seven percent, the lowest of his career this season. It costs the less minutes. There you go, Bird get easy points. He needed that. That's a long ass stretch without scoring. There you go. Maybe Orlando. Inside. Give it to Orlando. Green, Let him get Green, with his first basket. Uh, he is really great at crashing the board if you don't block him out on a, on a penetration move. Bird. Bird or bullet. And see, that's all they needed. That little look from basketball, they teach you to you, when you're struggling, go inside, then work your way out. So all a scorer needs is to see the ball go through the net, and Bird's activated now. Maybe get it hot now. He activated now. Shot. And it's a four-point 37-33 affair. John Paxson getting off the bench for the Chicago Bulls. Coming in to replace Macy, perhaps. Banks. Oh. Finally five Good shot. Gene Banks with his second basket, and it's up to six months more. They certainly were looking to get it to Gerb. They give it to Bird. Get Bird back to Bird. Love the work. Uh-huh. Banks the shot. Brick. Two straight. Misses that shot. Banks has the rebound. Forcing the action. The Bulls running a lot more than they had. They can run it all, really, in game one. Macy controlling, guarded by Cecil. Here is Woolridge. Woolridge. And oh, here is Sidney Green on the weak side. Jordan remains on the bench, shaking his head, and the Chicago Bulls yeah, that, have that re- dunk was That dunk was nice. Here is Woolridge. Ah. And then there is Sidney Green on the weak side. Jordan remains on the bench. Shaking his head, and the Chicago Bulls have raised their lead to eight with Jordan City. Say, Walton retreated to stop any kind of penetration. Forgot about Sidney <laughs> Green. You can't do that with Sidney Green. He'll kill you on the glass. Watch Sidney Green come swooping in. Walton's got him. Forgets where he is. Going for the rebound himself, and there's Green, the great leaper, right behind him, with a yeah, he got up on that shit. of leaping ability above Walton. John we go. Jackson, the camera's going to work. You don't see them right now? Yes, sir. Harris over the top commits the loose ball foul. Orlando Woolrich, who committed that last person, was fouled by Paris. Second foul on Paris. So right now, Chicago has John Paxson, almost a carbon copy of Kyle Macy, perhaps a little stronger and quicker in the backcourt. And Four better. <laughs> Woolrich and Gerber. Jordan still on the bench. There it is. Oh, Brick. They are all ice. Into the hands of Dennis Johnson. And a Chicago foul. And there's another good foul for Chicago because that was a three on one break for Boston. Can't do that in today's so game. That'd be free throw. I'm amazed that Sidney Green came out of that ball game right now because he was giving them that second effort. And producing some solid points. Two shots for Dennis Johnson. The foul was on Banks. Oh, they did get free throws. Talking okay. about getting Sidney Green back in, his head back into the game and feeling good about himself. The boy made two great moves and back on the bench. Well, keep in mind, he has tendonitis in the knee, and that may be a factor in this thing. And so uh, they got some that good moves from Green. That sucks. Tendonitis in the knee. That should suck. I ain't been through that personally, but I've seen people go through that shit. That shit sucked. 
Seven minutes to go in the first half. 41 to 34 in favor of Chicago. There you go. Durbin. Oh, ice. Oh, it's strong, strong move. Nothing there, though. No dice. Damn, Dennis. Damn, Dennis. Calm it down, get it to the legend. Good move by Larry Legend. That's too easy. They never cut off his penetration. Corsi trying to maintain That's contact with Mikhail. He ain't they missing that close. Not too often, anyways. He's been missing this game, but not too often. 6.20 to go in the first half, and the Chicago Bulls, who have led all the way except for the first points of the ball game. Speaking about a close game, at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, the Washington Bullets are tied with the 76ers at 35. They're in the second bullets. period, and Washington leads one another. Sometimes when you're watching these old school Michael games, you're like, the Bulls, the Bulls, Bulls. Minutes, and the Bulls. Think about the Bulls. The you're like, oh, okay, they got the Wizards. Yeah. It, it's just, it puts you back during that time, man. It's been a long time since they've been called the Bullets. You know, politics, too. The Boston foul, and then your second team foul. Jordan has played only two minutes this period. He scored all his 17 points in the opening 12. And he's getting a lot of rest, but as long as the Bulls are playing the way they're playing, they can give Jordan some of that rest. Harris commits his third personal foul. Walton played considerably and performed well off the bench so far. Look at Mikhail. Mikhail almost got his ankles broke. Oh, get that shit out of here. Thanks. Picks it up. Good pass. Cash. Dave Corsi hits from the corner. By the way, Woolrich has missed his last... Six, seven shots now in the game, so he may not be the guy to go. He's taken some god awful shots, Dick. The penetration, he should be kicking it out to guys like Corzine who can hit that outside shot. Use him as a decoy. Mikhail. Oh, great. Good rebound. Bird. Good pass. Woo! That's why they acquired him from Indiana. Jerry Seasley. And it's 43 to 38 Chicago and Michael Jordan. We'll That's a good pass. And Bill Walton for Boston. Paxson controlling with 13 on the shot clock. Banks. Oh. Rebound Harris. That bird was nowhere to be seen on Banks. Larry Legend. Ain't nobody going on there. And Walton comes back for the Celtics and Michael Jordan checks in for the Chicago Bulls. Push the ball up the court. Good things happen. Nice outlet pass. It gets up reasonably. And Seasting loves the fast break. Back to Dennis in the middle. Yeah, he and completely the turns his back to Bird. Alert, the you can't do that. The fourth man up the court. No defender there. Jordan comes in replacing George Gervin. I don't believe he even attempted a shot in the time he was Jordan in. Jordan looking like Jimmy Butler's dad. Three point play with five minutes to go. Cuts the Bulls need to two. Well, that's it. Terrible thing. A guy like uh, George Gervin with all the playoff experience and the great offensive oh, ability. There you go. go. Get a shot oh, off while he's in the there. Pass. He's a weapon. Bird guarding Banks. Hey. Damn. Rainbow shot. Misses Paxson. Safety man. Intercepts. In the Banks. Good spin move by Walton. Damn. And Walton's. And they said Banks stepped on the line. Good block. It's going to be Boston Ball. So Bill Walton playing a major role off the bench. And Sidney Green, who played 11 minutes, comes coming back to the ball game for Chicago. And the crowd is up as the Celtics oh. are tied here. And they do. No. Now, before the shot. Hey, Gene Banks is really having his problems offensively and defensively. I think he's talking to himself and making this game much more difficult than it has to be. Taking some bad shots. Last time he had Walton in a low post. When, whenever he thinks that's a mismatch in his favor, he got to go back to the scoring, uh, back to the playbook because there's no yeah, way. Yeah, that nigga blocking that shit. 
They got some shot blockers down low. Yo, that's crazy. 24 9. Brick. Oh, back to the Sydney Green, that might be a good matchup for the Wolves to go to. Dennis Johnson on Jordan, back on MJ. MJ, who? Who? Stutter Steps. Hey! Mid range. Gets the pick, gets the mismatch. He joined the attack. Jordan, no good. Hey, Brick. Jordan, a good pass. Good pass. He just all there and challenging him on his outside shot. Damn. Hell draws the foul. He got whacked. Like he hit his head. McHale scored all his 12 points in the first period. He has none this quarter. Larry Bird all has all of his 11 this quarter. Let's see what happens here. He gets sandwiched. Wow. Somebody comes over and actually somebody has MJ. Like he, <laughs> he gave him that macho forehead. man Randy Savage. <laughs> Bionic elbow. Dave Corzine commits his third foul. Oakley and Corzine each with three. So McHale trying to get the cobwebs out. Want to remind you that you're watching the second game of a best of five first round NBA. That would probably be a fake. That, that, no, that wouldn't probably. That would be a flagrant foul today. Boston Celtics with the best record in the league and a 41 and 1 well, record. <laughs> the Garden this year. The Kelsey and Birds right and now, shit. 48 to 43 and 256 <laughs> to go in the first half. Foul story. Parrish and Walton, the two Celtic centers of three, and Oakley Corzine also. He believed in two, but I was a nice little elbow he got there. Chicago had scored five in a row to break a 43 all time. They were drawing to come up the curl. 13 on the shot clock, Jordan. Oh, good pass. Inside the Woolrich, the move by Orlando. problem in a sprained wrist, but he showed no effects of it there. They played a little two-on-two -two basketball, and that freed up That's Woolridge. A good move. He was, uh, Dennis Johnson ended on up on him originally. McHale has been trying to guard him, but uh, when you do stuff like that, there's something to switch a lot. You gotta look for the advantage on the mismatch. They finally got to it. Foul was on McHale, his second. It's 50 to 44, two and a half minutes to play in the opening half. Chicago leading, and they've led... Woo. Bird, ooh, good move. Bird out. Oh, hey. Damn, couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. 
There he is. Oh. Good rebound. Uh-huh. Bird. Pass. Good pass. Something passing at its very best, and it's a four-point Chicago lead. Two minutes to go in the half. You know, the guard's patience of the, of the Celtics to find that good matchup is what really makes this team click. Jordan controlling against go, Mike, Dennis one Johnson on the isolated. Uh-huh. Great. This is it all. Save the three. Woo! The Bulls did everything but score. Good pass. Oh. Here's a bird. Oh. No good. And a three-second violation called against Boston. And even Stan Albeck's enjoying this first half. And he a good recovery defense. Look at Orlando. That's a great athletic skill there. To take it away from a bigger man. Four-point lead for Chicago. Sidney Green is up on high. Setting a screen. Johnson trying to fight through it on a switch. There you go. Jordan. Oh, and Jordan good move. Anyway. That's a Jordan, tough jump. 21 points. And it's 52 to 46 goals. Looking inside the McHale. Hoping to do it. Uh oh, the three. Break. Damn, can't get it. Go Mike. Go. The ball bouncing into the hands of the Good pass. Good Inside pass. Inside the Paxson. Paxson gets the basket. And now the Chicago Bulls have opened it up. 54 to 46. And they have been the strong team down the stretch in this quarter. They play. Good push-up basketball that time. Some of the Celtics big people didn't oh, get back. Oh, post work. Post work. And McHale taking some punishment. He's <laughs> going to work. <laughs> less of a break from the officials. And that the Celtics were able to use mayhem, to say the least, inside. Of course, Casey Jones said, well, if they're playing a physical game, what do you expect? They should commit most of the foul. In any event, Corzine has no report. I used to be a coach. I used to use rhetoric like that, too. It's like a coach's book for coming into the Boston Garden. On how to make it on your side. There it is. Not just the Boston Garden, but any time you go out the road. It doesn't seem to help much here, looking at the record of the Celtics this year. You can see that man got blood all over his jersey, jersey and shit. From that cut. Uh, hits the free throw. Surprised they ain't making play in this at all. Chicago leading by six. And they'll call the foul on age. Second foul, but that will put the Celtics into the penalty. And so John Paxson will shoot two. Oh, that was kind of a chicken foul. <laughs> it looked more like Paxson fell down than age foul. Paxson, of course, comes from a great bloodline of basketball people. Of course, he must have played against his dad. I certainly did. Great player. With the Lakers and the Royals and his brother, of course. Jim is with the Portland Trailblazers. They won. This man Jim Paxson was good, too. They want him to get that outside shot going. They feel he can push it up the floor better than even the uh, Kyle Mason. 34 seconds to go. Eight point lead for Chicago. There Their biggest go. lead was 11. Eight, eight, oh, eight, eight. Eight. And Bill Walton, with six points in the ball game and 13 rebounds, has been the key center. Damn, now, off the bench, that's pretty good. Awesome. Celtics used some great stuff on the offensive boards on those fast breaks. That penetration this was size is crazy. Even though he missed it, he pr produced the two points for the team. Six on the shot, so there's a three-second differential. Jordan with Mike, the hang on. And draws the foul. <laughs> Dennis Johnson. He signed himself with frustration after that, did not agree with it. That's that was the last second of the too. Michael I'd be Jordan mad, too. You going to the right. You have to lean across him and bring your hand down. And that's what that visual normally call a foul. Mike Tebow, who is one of the assistant coaches with Chicago, said about Jordan, he's got the, the jump shot ability of a Jerry West and the ability to go to the hoop of a Julius Irving. That's how I praise right there. <laughs> the Jerry West jump shot was pure. Now with three seconds to go, and now it's Michael Jordan who is complaining. There is Mike Tebow kneeling down. Actually, Tebow is not on the bench. He must be upstairs sending in plays from the, from the 
the top. The foul account. Sidney Green gets called with his third personal foul. Corzine has four. Oakley and Green, three for Chicago. Parrish and Walton each with three for Boston. Easy points. The play, as well as they can play. Really Larry Bird is automatic from free throw. So. The Celtics are still in it. Celtics are rarely out of it this early. I guess though the one loss they experienced to Portland here, they were out of it. Right. Damn, he missed it. Two, two seconds to go. And then that shot to the left time if it goes. Larry Bird had 12 all this period. Now I ain't watched this game Michael in a Jordan minute, bro. Points, and the Chicago I ain't know Bird played this. Here. I don't remember that Bird playing this uh, poorly this game. Lead. I knew he he was gonna he was on great early on. I didn't know he was this bad. Now Celtics lead one to nothing. Now I'm watching it again. It's like damn. Here, 58 to 51 at Boston Garden, where the Celtics lost only one time this year. Tommy, is that 58 to 51 Chicago lead deceiving in any way? It could very well be, Dick. The Celtics shot very poorly, and the Bulls' defense against the low post game. The right, various let's double teams. This. Let's get this. We already know the halftime stuff. Let's go to the. the trail by only seven. Underway third. Let's get back to the action, y'all. That's what we're here for. Kyle Macy in the backcourt along with Michael Jordan, who has the ball now. Gene Banks starts a forward with Oakley and Woolridge. This is a very unusual lineup that the Bulls have out there. Who is playing center? Oakley, Woolridge. They got a small front line in there, the Bulls. That's why I was saying back. earlier, the Boston's run. big. Celtics only lead in the game was two to nothing. That's a major Harden. advantage. Inside of the camp. It's hard to make up for it, too. Because those guys are going to be overworked. Points, and it's a five-point lead. Oakley hardly played in that first half. As a matter of fact, just seven minutes and scored four points. Sidney Green. The key man again, perhaps off the bench. Uh -oh, no good. So then they're getting all the boards too, it looked like. Look Mikhail. inside, Mikhail. Mikhail's an animal. Oh, give me that. This is that shot. Parrish underneath the hoop. Had to bring it out. Lost it out of bounds. Michael Jordan's got some fast Celtics hands. Celtics with a tremendous domination off the plate. Woolrich with 13 points, he has the ball along with George with 23. On no dice. Woolrich missed inside. Woolrich on that one on one game, I think they're going to park that for a while and find somebody else. Banks working against Bird on the post up. Oh. Hale tried to double team. Rick. Woolrich misses again. Here's Michael Jordan. There goes Mike. The basket will be good and a foul. And good effort getting down Jordan. low. And see, that's what you do. You, you find you find other ways. You find other ways to try and dominate the game. So Michael Jordan following through. You know his teammates shoot, get missed. Michael Jordan's right there to clean it up. That's the extra effort. Extra effort plays, man, leads to winning basketball. There's no real size. Get your ass down there and don't watch. Game. Get involved. You mean Sydney Green. Sydney Every Green, position should be going to the board. Mikhail can have a field day against this unit. Minute and a half gone by in the third period, 61 to 53, an eight-point lead. They go Bird, wide open. Cash. Hits for two. Larry Bird has 14 points. One of the they purest strokes in NBA history. Pause. No diddy. Ainge is on Macy, who has attempted only one shot in the ballgame. Woolridge. Hey, the Woolridge. Good, good move. Good move by Orlando Woolridge, 15 in the game. Guess they're going to give it to him until he gets it right. Ainge got the ball. <laughs> Six for 18 is the shooting for a Woolridge. 33%. Oh, hey. Ainge for three. Danny Ainge with the brick. The rebound by the old. That all back does not have a lot of MJ going to work. Oh, Woo! No basket and a foul. I know he mad. He missed that layup. Dennis Johnson with his third personal foul and a timeout here with 9.38 to go in the third. So Michael Jordan with 49 in game one, 26 right now, and Tommy asked some of the Celtic guards their observations on how to play Michael Jordan. Uh, fouling and hope someone else can come in and do the job. 
you know, if, if the team gets stopped, maybe he'll shoot himself to death. I don't know, I guess you can call it Clint Eastwood because uh, there's not much you can do at that point. <laughs> Just let him go. <laughs> <laughs> you can they tell he ain't playing on Thursday, minute. including this man, Dennis Johnson. Your philosophy can't be just let him go. Dennis Johnson with a tremendous <laughs> effort. He had seven baskets in a row. With that mindset, he's going to get 63. He did a job against Jordan. By the way, something guards are shooting All right, here go Mike. With the Rock. One-on-one. On one. Mike with the mismatch. There you go. Long range. Oh, Jordan hits. Cash. And a 10-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. Keep in mind, their biggest lead in the first half was 11. Good shot and by Andre. Crowd getting a bit anxious again, Tom. Boy, and Gene Banks is doing that. Well, the driver trying to stay with Larry Bird. Larry. Cash. Larry's catching heat. Larry Bird now. Getting hot. Two outside shots in the first three minutes of this third period. Casey Jones counts on Larry Bird to bring him out of the doldrums. He's done it. I've got a Philadelphia game hey, here. He did it to the tune of three three-point plays in the final Looking for the mismatch. The Couldn't get it. Jordan working against Dennis. But still got one. Getting ready to help out. He He's does. got the smaller Johnson. What about Paris? Commits Good the play. foul, and that'll be his fourth personal foul. Four on double zero. Well, Larry Bird forgot Gene Banks and let him sneak in there. Bird, the ultimate team defender for the Celtics. Was, had his total concentration on Jordan that time. The advantage of the great depth the Celtics have. Bill Wall, Harris goes out. He has scored a Hall of Famer comes out, and another Hall of Famer comes in to Bill take his place. Six points and 13 <laughs> rebounds in the game, and he has been the big center force for the Celtics today. Dick Stockton and Tom Heitzen here at Boston Garden. Capacity crowd, 262nd consecutive. First weekend of the NBA playoffs. Here on CBS and the Celtics trailing the Chicago Bulls by 10, 67 to 57. A big soccer game. Well, Danny Ainge. Boston lost only once in all years. Get it to the post. Leading on one and up. Bill Walton going to work. Cash. The short shot. Now, there was a little confusion factor that uh, Stan Hallback hoped to introduce into his defense in a low post. Sometimes double team, sometimes not. Send the double from Pick. different directions. It's working. Here we go. Jordan Jordan, Jordan going to work. Oh, good move. Brick. Loses the rebound. So low ridge and fouls. Woo. That was a tough go inside. Both teams starting to pick up the intensity a little bit. Commits his fourth foul. So both Celtic centers, Walton and Parrish, have four fouls. You can tell Jordan's starting to elevate his game. Couldn't get that one to go, but you can tell. Normally, Walton plays against the bigger, slower guys that don't have the ability to use You can tell he's just getting started. Inside. You saw what Sidney Green was able to do in the, in the first half. But the foul story now becomes focused on the two Celtic centers who have four fouls. If one or both get into foul trouble, that could be a major factor down the stretch. It should be, but uh, they're smart enough to use those fouls. I would be, I'm not too concerned uh, if I were Casey Jones at this point for don't forget you have that man, Greg Kite, in his third year, who's quite a banger, who has seen some quality minutes this year. Nearly four oh, minutes right. by third period, and a whistle and a foul away from the ball. All against Chicago, and a derisive cheer from the crowd, who would think that the Bulls have had the edge in balls. Charles Oakley, that's his fourth personal foul. Four on Oakley, the rookie from All right, Virginia. back to the paint. Double team Double coming. Team Good Double pass. Johnson, Good pass to Kevin McHale. That time they double. That's going to be there because they have it. They got a double McHale. He's too good. Too good down low. Eight point lead for Chicago. They led by Can't guard that man one on one. Here we go. Inside, oh. lost the ball, got hit in the eye, but lost the ball. Good pass. Celtics pushing it up, and Ainge goes in. And the foul will be against Chicago. Ainge may be the spark that the Celtics haven't had to get their fast break going so far. Well, he's their real push man because he has the desire to really attack the defense. Dennis Johnson, when he gets the ball on the outlet, really kind of three quarters it up the court. Danny Ainge has got more speed to apply to the fast break than DJ does. Ains with his first point of the ball game, averaging nearly 11 a game, coming in at a... Danny Ains, one of the most hated NBA players. <laughs> this is one of the 
foul, by the way, was on Mason, his first. Mason with the ball, guarded by eight. Dennis Johnson is sticking with Jordan effectively. Jordan's can't seem to get away. Damn, oh, oh, bust his ass not doing shit. Celtics with Bird. Good pass. And a 20 second timeout called by Chicago. Listen to the crowd as the Celtics have come back, still trailing by five. This is the exciting time of the year in the NBA. The playoffs continue. So Bird starting off slow, we'll starting to find his groove. 3.30 Eastern time, and then a doubleheader on Sunday, beginning at 1 o'clock Eastern. Of course, we don't know what matchups you'll see. It could be at the tail end, game fives of the first 1986, round matchup, but about 37 years ago. Semifinals. Whatever it is, you'll see some exciting action next weekend on CBS. Philadelphia leading a tight battle over Washington, 64 to 61 in the spectrum. The Bullets lead long enough. How much the game the changed? The game changed, changed a lot. Philadelphia since needs then. Moses Malone had lost that power guy inside. Brown is turning the ball. defense by Danny Ainge. Get the ball, get the rock to look at the mic. Mike ain't there. Woolridge, nothing there. Good follow through. Smart play by Gene Banks got right in there as they went to the penetration, got the good position on the offensive board. Celtics spreading out their offense, making Chicago play more one on one. They want to get to go back to the post. Page with a move on Macy and a foul on the pass. A one shot foul. Let's watch Banks here on the last. You're talking about That's Larry Bird going to the penetration That's a tough and look shot. at Banks coming right good follow in there. Through, he steps inside. With nobody really blocking them out. Timeout called by Boston with 6.27 remaining in the third. Celtics have won 32 in a row at home. God damn, the point is, the best all time home record in the history of the league at 40 yep. and 1. 86 Every Celtics do not so lose at home. Playoffs, <laughs> with the exception of the first game when the Bullets shocked Philadelphia with that 18 to nothing spurt at the end. Well, the further you go into the playoffs, the, the home court advantage uh, isn't as great because the, the, the teams are closer together in talent and they're t t uh, closer together in mental toughness and battling against the home crowd. No, one thing, and that is uh, the Houston Rockets with a 2 nothing lead over Sacramento have to play that Tuesday night game in the Arco Dome where the Kings were on beat this year. All right, go See, back to the paint. continues. Very impressed with the Bulls. Go back to the post. Quarter. Used a lot of good, good pass by Bill Walton. Good Bowling. shot by Larry Bird. With that strange lineup, huh? With that strange lineup, I gotta ask him after the game, why it came out. I never would have thought of this lineup. Folks, if you want to know what Tommy's doing after the game, we'll be asking Stan Alden about his lineup. I don't have a true center. There's Woolridge. Woolridge working against the kill. Good shot. Basket is good and a foul. And then Woolridge gets the hoop. And Woolridge now with 19 points. You know what I think it is, Dick? I think that uh, Stan Allback really feels that there's not enough good one-on-one -on -one defenders on the Celtics. He has to move by Woolrich. I think <laughs> Larry Bird gave him a shoulder block. Miguel can't guard Woolrich. That's why he's attacking him. I would never believe it myself. I think Miguel's a very good defense. Another point here. The Celtics shot 38% in the first half. They're 7 for 9 so far in the third period. And Going back to the toast. They have the point to their lead. And a whistle before the shot, illegal defense against Chicago, and that's a technical foul. The second time an illegal defense call is made, it's a technical. So, Dang. Danny Ainge has been shooting. Interestingly enough, Larry Bird was the free throw shooting champion this year, but Ainge has been shooting the tees lately. We have not seen any tempo in this game in the third quarter whatsoever. This has been... A chess match. I think that did, they did that to get Ainge hot. To think about his next move. That's how. Uh, uh, Bird can get a shot anytime he wants. No pace whatsoever. Bars, I mean Dennis Johnson with the ball. Bars with the ball. Five forty to go. We go Bird. Bird. Too big. He's too big. Bird with a left-handed move with twenty points now in the ball game. Like Bird is like six ten, bro, for real. Until we're over nine minutes remaining in the first half. Bird is a big dude. Take a tough shot. He's four for four this half. Hey. Macy. Macy. Good shot. And a 
I'm sure Casey Jones is saying, here's a guy that's taken one shot in the game, why foul him all the way out there? Well, that's a shot. And he, uh, you know, I, I, I think when you take a long distance shot like that, Tom Macy, if he hits it, you know, all of a sudden it changes your thinking on the way you're going to drop into the paint to help. You got to go out there and try and shut it down a little bit. Age with three. Well, they got burned to a three point. Fairly well, and it's 77 to 69. Once again, Chicago by eight with five minutes to Back to the post. Go. Good they pass by Larry Legend. Foul against Chicago. You're right. They, if Chicago can do it with Woolridge and, and or Jordan, the Celtics can do it with Larry Bird. And nobody got to uh, the rotation to stop that cutter quite quick enough. Almost got a hoop out of it. Two fouls now on Orlando Bull Woolridge and Johnson is shooting. Two shots. Well, Bird is responding to the defense that the Bulls are playing against them. One time Bird is really carving them up with some passes. He's moving to the lane. This time he gets doubled. He sets up two easy free throws. Because they're small, like they're getting worked down low. Right. He takes advantage of every half inch. Imagine if you give him a yard. Six-point game, Chicago leading. Biggest lead was 11 in the first there half. There you go, and Mike. One-on-one. On one. Jordan, the Dennis Johnson got a piece of it. Good oh, defense. Some defensive play by Dennis Johnson. Bird. Celtics can cut it to Pass. four. Away that was a foul. Chicago ball. <laughs> that was a terrible call. That was bullshit. Hold on, let's go back. He did some WWE shit. Four. Knocked away. Yo, that was a pure foul. Jordan, the Dennis Johnson got a piece of it. Look at this shit. Defensive play by Dennis Johnson. Celtics can cut it to four. Knocked away. <laughs> and they gave him the ball. <laughs> Terrible call. Terrible call. Whatever. Should have been a foul. No replay. Jordan, Jordan going to work. On top of one floor offensive alignment for the Bulls. Jordan Macy. gives it up. Macy makes his money. Thanks. Ain't no space. Damn. But see, this era benefited the big man because there's no space to operate as a guard. Like, you had to have a post-up game back then. There's no space. What else are you going to do? You had to have a mid-range. It's a four-point Chicago lead. People didn't shoot threes like that, so the three was almost out of the question. The Celtics have outscored Chicago 14 to 8 to cut a 10 point lead to 4. And Danny Ainge, you know, you have to force your way to uh, an act of willpower to create tempo sometimes when you get caught in a rhythm. And if Danny Ainge, he was challenged, he'll have none of it. He's going to take it as hard at the defense as he can. And now they're in a good attack position. Good attack. And then our uh, bird, even with that stumbling move, is going to make a layup. Very crafty. That's what pace can do for the Celtics. Ains back on that ass. Ball. Jordan and Woolridge have 48. Okay, there goes Mike. Damn. Jordan. And the ball still out. Great. That one was not necessary. Under four minutes remaining in the third period. Keep in mind that the Bulls had a seven-point lead in the way they were playing. Tommy's opinion, anyway, should have had a bigger lead. Yeah, that's too easy. Dennis Johnson is fouled decisively. There. And they got to pick their poison. They're going to let him go one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to double-team the trap. He's going he to keep carving them up. See, what makes, what, what makes the Celtics hard to defend is that they have great passing big men. So Bird is really a big man, right? He's really a power forward. Uh, you got Mikhail can pass. Walton can pass. Like they, these are good playmakers out of the post. It's hard to defend that. Plus, they're skilled. They can score. They've got a variety of moves that they can go to. It's, they they hell, bro. Double team Especially when you're small. They Look, they try to get physical, the but that, that, that ain't gonna do nothing. Bird got eyes on back of his head. Wetman replaces McHale, who has 19 with only two in this third period. 
Now they are not going to the low post game. Jason Jones says, Larry Bird shall lead us out of the darkness, not Kevin McHale. And so far, he's been doing a pretty good job. Been doing a great job. He's been to Celtic Center, played more time than Robert Parrish, although both have four personal fouls, with 3.42 remaining in this third period. The Bulls now have to continue to play intelligent basketball like they did the first couple of weeks of this game. They slowed the tempo down. Don't take, don't take bad shots. Move it around. And the Bullets have yeah. regained the lead over Philadelphia 79 There you go. One on one. No good. It's Johnson. Attacks Michael Jordan, and that'll be number four on DJ. Four fouls on What was the foul on that? Hold on, let me go back. Score six in a row, and Dennis Johnson. Let me go back. Don't take bad shots. Move it around. And the Bullets have regained the lead over Philadelphia 79 75. The Celtics need one. Oh, yeah, he, he reached from behind. I think he whacked him from behind. Michael Jordan, and that'll Can't really see that good, though. DJ. Four fouls on Dennis Johnson. Welcome to the club. Parrish and Walton, charter members right now. Dennis is playing a straight up nose, and that means that oh, that's all ball. With that great first step can get by Dennis. That's all ball. Dennis doesn't have the same kind of foot movement and foot speed. Jordan is eight for eight from the line. Yeah, I disagree with that part. Thirtieth point of the game here. But this Jordan putting up points in. He's been super aggressive. Overuse him in the first half. These are the crunch points. And we have not seen Sidney Green this half, no. That'll be a reason why. 325 or maybe. They're going back to work. <laughs> no, it has to be a long game for their big man, bro. Bird is there with the offensive rebound. He went and shorts out. Look at the rebound. Whitman had a shot he normally makes. Look at DJ. Look at DJ. Jordan oh, there go Mike. Uh huh. One on one. Let's get it. Good pass. Uh huh. Pass. Good pass by MJ. And the Bulls, who had their lead up to two, now up to six again. When he has time to sight the basket, which the penetration of Jordan. Michael Jordan, an underrated playmaker and passer. Under three minutes remaining Bird. in the third period. Going right back to that back down to Boston Celtics. Jordan coming away. <laughs> Celtics position. Let's bring you up to date again on the foul situation. Corzine and Oakley with four. Paris Walton and Dennis Johnson with four. Still got Walton in the Celtics he, can you know. Jerry Seastay will come back in the ball game to replace another Dennis shooter. Johnson. Put another shooter in there to space the floor for Larry to operate. Put Danny Ainge on Jordan. Good adjustments by Casey Jones. And Jordan on Danny Ainge. And Ainge chalks one up there. They're down to four points now. The first field goal of the game for Ainge. Ainge might even do a better Ainge job. Ainge can't guard no damn Michael Jordan by himself. He might as well get that shit up. Jordan with the shake of bait. Brick. Good pursuit. No good. Both one of the great rebounders at that time. Oh, a bit on the fake. And Danny Ames will go to the line, 90% from the free throw line to try to bring the Celtics to two within two points. John Paxson comes into the ball game, and Kyle Macy goes out. Macy with four fouls. Danny Ames, you know. Is, is a very big guy to play Ooh. point guard. He's yeah. got exceptional quickness for his size. And uh, has Danny Ainge was, was quick uh, back then. Too. Yeah. Real good fast between his and knees. tough. He plays straight on defense. Annoying, but tough. He's the type of guy that might do a great job on uh, Michael Jordan. They're trying to get the ball to MJ. Oh, MJ should have kept going. But now, that pass really probably didn't have a chance. That's a great, that's a great steal. That was a bad pass though, but that was a, that was a good steal. At first it looked like Mike could have got to it, but nah. 
He ain't got no chance to get this one. Oh, good pass. Inside the tour. And it's Oakley who gets credit for the basket. Charles Oakley. And a technical <laughs> foul has been leveled by Jake O'Donnell. I think that was an unnecessary technical foul by Jake O'Donnell. It was called from one end of the court. Danny Ainge made a gesture. And Jake O'Donnell was completely up the other end of the court. He made it. He's looking good for him. Jordan, 31 points. And the Celtics trail by three with 135 to go. <laughs> and the fans are letting them hear about that shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Good defense. Oh. Still right in. By Age, who keeps the pressure on for the Celtics. And it's 84 to 83 Chicago. So Jordan going head to head. The Celtics trying to Michael Jordan right now. Michael. Woo! Good move. So what a great shot. And a basket and a foul. He talking shit too. <laughs> Talk about birds. Sheer determination. In certain points of the game, Michael Jordan has those same qualities. He's got to get, watch him get around Jordan, Danny Ainge. And strong left hand drive, and Walton right there, and here comes Jordan, but Angel's in front of him, angles him off, turns him loose to the second defender. That's, of the a, that's a hard Jordan shot to make too. Him. And Walton to adjust on the move like first that first and hit it off the glass, that Walton takes a lot of touch. On the bench. Try it when you go outside. It's not Under easy. A minute to go, and the Bulls lead by four. <laughs> oh, great! Bird with the rebound. Bird's a big dude. No good. his second personal foul and Oakley will shoot. Here comes the rebound. Oakley yeah, he pushed him inside back. and Bird says, well, I'm going to try and knock Ooh, it out of your hands. Hit him too. He, he fouled him he twice. He hit the ball into his jaw and Bird said, I hit the ball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be mad as hell, nigga. I'm like, you hit, you already smacked me, right? And you ain't acknowledge it, right? You already smacked me in the face. Then I see you trying to get the ball. Man, fuck all that. <laughs> like, at least give me the ball, bro. Devin McHale, who has 19 points, only two this period. Bulls have made their last 14 free throws. Now make it 15. Walton on the bench with five. Robert Parrish also on the bench. He has four fouls. Celtics playing without a center. And the game is really balling. <laughs> And the foul against Chicago. Where the foul at? A push. A very late whistle. Yeah, that was the late. The shot was rebounded. Where the foul? Sidney Green has come into the ball game. First time he has played in the second half, replacing Charles Oakley. They getting calls like that. The Bulls might have an uphill battle. Personal foul and Parrish with four comes back in, replacing Scott Lippin. So Sidney Green, who performed so well in the first half for Chicago, with four points and five rebounds in brief play, in there for the first time this half. They've got a bigger team in there right now, the Boston Celtics. See if they can capitalize on that bigness and that size. It would be fresh, right? Because Chicago is not capitalizing on that quickness and speed with fast breaks. Bird is 24. Oh, give me that shit. Chicago still has it. Kevin McHale with a block shot. He's had at least one block in the last 30 games for the Celtics. Now, Woolrich uh, rolls back and has McHale right there with him. There you go, Jordan. Jordan against me. The move. The move. Good. With 16 seconds to go, 91-85. Ainge lost him left. Boston right into the second defender, but Jordan with that great leaping ability, throw over the big guys too. Oh. Oh, 
Damn. Good shot by Danny Ainge. Chicago sparked by Michael Jordan, 17 first period points, took an eight point bulge over the Celtics, second time in the series they've had that lead. Larry Bird had 12, as Chicago's lead was cut to seven. Danny Ainge was the spark plug in the third period. Bill Walton has done a great job off the glass the entire game, as the Celtics have inched closer to 91-88, but to the Chicago Bulls' credit, no matter what happens, if you look at the shooting story the rest of the way, and the Celtics certainly got hot so far in that third period that the Bulls have Show poise in withstanding several thrusts by the Celtics at this time. Well, Stan Albex must feel that uh, and believe that philosophy that uh, the Celtics cannot play good one-on-one -on -one defense. And he's spreading it out so that the Celtics are forced to play that type of defense. Bird. Larry Bird. With the shot. Hang. That's the first point. That's a hard shot. Hanging. He hung on that shit, too. Jordan with 36 is the high scorer in the game. Jordan has scored 85 points in the two playoff games. Maxim guarded by Seasting. Into Green. Green is fouled. There's that spring that Sidney Green has in the side. Yeah, he's going to have a door to catch him. Robert Parrish, the free bird. It's a pretty good pick, too. Banks has to roll off, but Bird still has time to get the shot. That's a good adjustment, man, there. And Bird, as we say, only needs a half inch. Was on the and it's hard to contest Bird because he's so damn tall. He breaks that shit back behind his head. Trying to work his way out of it at a very tough time to do it. Playoffs against Boston. But this is a low post option that uh, I think has been very fruitful for them in prior ball games. He can go over Sidney Green, go over Kevin McHale. Celtics looking to tie it again. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn, fourth period. Game two, best of five. Celtics won the opening game, and they're in a dog fight here against Chicago. Trailing 92 to oh. Diving for the loose ball is Gene Banks, but the Celtics still keep possession. Chicago trying to do what only one other team has done all year. Beat the Celtics here at Boston Garden. You know, you have to keep your mind together. Oh, Gene Banks and playing Larry Bird, particularly in the Boston Garden. You know, they throw 9,000 picks for Larry Bird to get one shot, and, he, and Banks has the utmost... Uh, Respect for Bird. He says he's the craftiest guy he's ever played against. He learns something new for his own game every time he plays it. The Bird. Damn. It's a three pointer. Damn. The man catch a fire now. Woo. And the Celtics Woo. have their first lead since Damn. the opening basket. All right, Mike trying to respond. He coughed it up. Dennis Johnson was a great defender, man. Good Inside three. Parrish. And traveling call against Robert Parrish. Good it hands by DJ. The clock running down. It comes by yeah. Hicks, the and bailout. Bird Give it to the bird. Out as he really, they put oh. Foul. Instead, bird has the Bang. Is wine and dine, has, to, has to let it fly and he hits it. So now we'll see how Chicago responds to that. How Chris Smooth said. Splash. Bulls with it trailing by one. Jordan. Oh. Oh. Mike. Good move by Mike. Michael Jordan is fouled by Dennis Johnson. Work. And that'll be number five on Dennis. So Johnson with five. Bill Walton on the bench with five fouls. And now he gets off the bench. And Robert Parrish playing with four. And Parrish will sit down. Parrish today has six points. And six rebounds. There's Orlando Woolridge, who has 20 points in support of Michael Jordan's 37. Now 37 for Jordan. Michael Jordan. You cannot stop him because he handles the ball so much. And he, he, they, so much a percentage of uh, the offense is designed for him to just get the ball and score. 14 for 14 from the line. Chicago regains the lead. McHale oh. going to and his foul. Bring up to date on the story involving Michael Jordan. He missed 
164 games of the season. And the that blood just dried up on his jersey. To play anymore. He had a broken left foot. He wanted to play. They said, okay, you can play. And they wanted to limit his minutes, and they did. However, he had to sit down with 30 seconds to go in the game on the line against Indiana. He wanted to play. The crowd howled. And Michael Jordan put his foot down and said to the Chicago Bulls management, I'm going to play basketball. Y'all hear that? A basketball player. Y'all hear that? The man yeah. refused to sit down. You know what I'm saying? Coming off an injury, refused to sit down, refused to give up on his team. He still believed, even though he knew he was running up against the Celtics. He still believed. That's a warrior right there. That's passion. That's passion, man. He ain't ducking the smoke. He ain't ducking the smoke, man. Respect for Michael Jordan for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes duck that shit. For real. Boston by one. They go Mike. Oh. Virtually all the way. Jordan. That's a hard jump. And Jordan with 40 points. Woo! Game one. When Ainge came back oh, in and Ainge had those two points. Let me go back. Let me go back. Nearly two minutes goal. That shit was hard. Five and a half. Final let's, period. Let's slow it up. That shit was hard. People, people got to understand how difficult this shot is. Man, right up in his chest. Boston by one. Look at this. Oh, post work. Ah, oh, off glass. High off glass. Oh, that shit nasty. High off the glass. And then Jordan with 40 points. He had 49 in game one. Went out. Ainge came back in, and Ainge has ended up with the defense. All right, going back to Bird. Good pass. That's easy. Oh, he smoked a wide open layup. All right, here go Mike. Good pass. Hey, damn, he missed the point right there. That's a gimme right there. Good move by Dennis Johnson. Ah, who the boards? Who wants it? What the fuck? <laughs> he was almost on his Yo. Hey, look. Mikhail hit me on the He was almost If I'm Mike, I'm like, come on now. Damn. This motherfucker scored sitting down. Yeah, that's just crazy. They're really banging on the boards, Mikhail, trying to keep it live. That's wild, yo. Bird knocks it away. There's Mikhail. Look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah. Astonishing shot by Kevin McHale. Study Kevin McHale. <laughs> that man was Tommy, let's see that, that man shot was by Kevin McHale again. Nice as fuck. Nice as fuck. Well, it's like a quarterback throwing a touchdown pass as he's going down. I, I've seen Larry Bird do some amazing things. Another We're going to see another angle. <laughs> it will probably look better from this angle. Yeah, that's was. insane. Look at that. I mean, uh, didn't know what else to do with the ball to get it up. To do it on the spot like that? That's ball. hard. <laughs> he gets the basket, but no foul. That hard. We that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. As the playoffs move on next Saturday, 3.30 Eastern. And a doubleheader on Sunday, beginning at 1 o'clock Eastern. Great stars in the game, and you'll see them on CBS. All the way to the NBA Finals, which you'll see exclusively on CBS as the drama just begins. 9.02 remaining. The foul was on Danny Ainge, his fourth personal foul. You can see so now, six Mike. lead changes, but most of them in the Here last get pick. Jordan. Mike coming around that corner. Post up. And Jordan, if he's, nope. he was hit on the hand. It looked like he lost control of the ball, but he was pushed. And if that's on age, that's five on Dan. That is. Did Mikhail have an assist on this? Well, Danny is trying to right, stay we'll see what happened. The body, so that's the wrong thing to do to body him. And then Mikhail pushes age into Michael Jordan. Hold on, let me see. 
That was a hard Let's shot. Mikhail should have probably lived with that. If he make it, he make it. But that was a tough shot. He, he was practically behind the backboard. Oh, good pass. Mikhail is killing these niggas. Just count it, and the Celtics regain the lead. Just the, the work he put in, man. Boston is really having trouble getting uh, Jordan with the pick again. There's so much Jordan going to right work. Now by the Bulls to get the shot they want. Brick. Mrs. Woolrich has the rebound. Chicago Bulls are playing as if they've been in the playoffs every year for 10 years. Sydney Green. Oh, oh my God. Bird being patient, kicking it out. DJ with the post. With the post Sydney Green is fouled. Going for the ball with 7.50 remaining. Stay in all backs reaction to the action. Nigga about to have a heart attack. I like the way his tie flops up and down. And oh, he's got a hop in his step, too, huh? Larry Bird with his fourth personal foul. Look at the litany of fouls we've got here. We've got Walton with five, Ainge with five, Dennis Johnson with five, Harris with four, Bird with four. Maybe that's what that isolation game is doing, is drawing attention to the individual one-on-one -on -one defender. And Casey Jones might be to try and really take the ball out of the hands of a Woolrich or a Michael Jordan with double teams. 7.50 to go, and a lot can happen, but here's a team, the Chicago Bulls, lost 52 games. This is the first time a team has made the playoffs with 50 or more losses since the Bulls did it in 68, and they're tied in Philadelphia. And I have to say, the 76ers want to use the old cliche, backs against the wall. They're against the wall now. Going back to the post. Can't afford to go down 2 nothing. Kale passed the bird on the back. Bird goes for three. <laughs> you fucked. Man, you got... Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. You got Kevin McHale and Larry Bird on the same side of the court. So they triple teaming this nigga Kevin McHale because he's destroying them. Hey, look who's open. Look who's open. <laughs> one of the greatest shooters of all time. Wide open. We told you about Bird and Jordan at the start. Good defense. Good pass by Larry Legend. So Larry Bird starting to dominate. So they hitting them from the inside out. With seven minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the fourth period, the Boston Celtics have their biggest lead of the ball game now. Four points. The Venus flytrap defense, they invite you in. Give me that shit. Close up on you. And then I need that. chew you up and spit you out. I need and that. And up comes the ball, and the Celtics converted that into a fast break opportunity with nobody on Danny Ainge for the layup. Now, this type of... Uh, Boston I would hate Danny Ainge, bro. At this point. Like, they got to do it with defense. Chicago has really got the pace of the game exactly where they want it. John Paxson right. guarded by Dennis Johnson. So they took uh, they took him off mic. They got Danny Ainge. Because Dennis Johnson got one more foul from the Lynn Ainge. So here goes Mike. Mike trying to go to work. Whew. Good move. Now, I want you to see, this was difficult. This was difficult. I want y'all to see this shit. Let's go back. Look at Mike. Look how he hang. Yeah, that's, that's difficult, bro. 
You got defenders all around you. And with 44 now in the ball game, and Walton afraid to foul that time, backed off Jordan a little bit. Walton with five. Next foul, and he's gone. Oakley in there. Guarding Walton. Bird. Bullridge on Bird. Damn, Larry Bird killing him. He, 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 bro, he's doing surgery out there. <laughs> Larry Bird is doing surgery out here. We're going into the game. The this is surgery. Top, not this this man went from struggling to turning it all the way up. Surgery. Walton trying to double now, picking up Jordan. One on one, slow, slow defender. You know, uh, in the clutch, Jordan, Jordan getting that shit. And has played tremendously for the Boston Celtics today. A little pick and roll action forces the to end up Mike. with Michael Jordan. And he alertly knows that Walton's in foul trouble and has a good opportunity to take it to the hook. The tongue is out. Kind of bumped him before the shot was taken. Jordan misses the first. Walton, 10 points. And 15 rebounds today. Jordan hit his first 16 from the line before he gets there. Man, he missed both. That's the team. I think it might be Dick, but you got to miss some free throws once in a while. I think Jordan right now, they did a, a great job of not asking him to do, do too much too early. Just under six minutes to go, fourth period. Celtics leading oh, by that's four. That's a mismatch. They'll call a foul away from the ball. I don't know what Jordan did to get that Michael foul. Jordan. That shit just looked random. Harris in the ball game is playing with four fouls. Bill Walton foul out of the ball game. Going back to Larry Bird. Dennis Johnson is playing with five. Bird triple the all of a sudden. Paxson gets back to Johnson. And a good, quick defensive move by Paxson. Yeah, but uh, DJ didn't swing the ball like they normally do to the wide open Danny Ainge, who's had a hot hand here. Jordan. Jordan. Cash. The Celtic lead to two, and he has 46 points. Jordan said, come here. 523 remaining. Keep in mind, the Boston Celtics went into this game with a 41 and 1 record in Boston Garden, including game one victory over Chicago on Thursday. McHale, about to go to work. McHale. They ain't double team? That's a no slow double team. Harris in a crowd. Give me that. Go get it, Mike. <laughs> Mike jumped high as hell. Snatch that shit. Go get it, Mike. Oh, good move. He's got good hands. Bird is insane. Good pass. Woo! <laughs> Bird was watching that shit on his stomach. This is kind of playoff intensity as John Paxson. Was a pretty good no call on Bird with that outlet pass. He was going down when he made that outlet pass. They easily could have called a foul on that, but the Celtics still didn't get there a move out of it. Good pass. Mikhail is killing him, man. They got no answer. Harris with only eight points in the ball game, his first point since the opening period. But it's good enough to give the Celtics a four point lead, 108 104. Jordan, Nearly again. Brick. Good they pass. Oh. It over, and Age was hit in the eye. Jordan brings it up. Man. Age staggered for the moment, and a foul called against Bird. Damn. Jackson was shaken up, and so is Danny Age. That was a collision on that long McHale outlet pass. A great athletic move here by Paxson to go over the top of Age. Oh, and he hit him in the face with the elbow. Paxson's elbow, Paxson really took, took a header too. Paxson went straight on his back too, that shit had to hurt. <laughs> Larry Bird was called for his fifth personal foul. I have not ever seen as many fouls called in the game like this. I'm going to see Bird on this outlet pass right now. 
Somebody's got them. They're holding them. That's why I, I said before they could have called the foul. Corzine. A guy Corzine, which wasn't called, and it was like maybe a good no call because the officials felt that they had the Celtics had a fast break advantage. Chicago's been missing from the line as of late. Something they can't afford to do here. Trailing by four. With 423 to go. Great. Oh, hey. One out of two for one Charles two. Oakley. So Bird with five fouls. 105, 108, and Boston. Johnson has five. MJ Holmes on DJ again. Parrish, who has fours. They try to get back to the post. Back to the post. Oh, Bird. good pass. Got his shit smacked, though. Jordan's what a morale builder that defensive stint was for the Bulls. Jordan. Looks like lately the Bulls have been going to Jordan. No Mike. The start of one the last one. Game. Here hey. The with the basket. And it's a one point game to stay at home that urges his team on. 108, 107. Not much time to go on the fourth. This is not the time to hold. I mean, I don't know, Tom, what do you think to ignore the other guys because you're going to need somebody. Well, I, I think Jordan is the guy to go to right now at this phase of the portion of the game. But the Celtics got to find somebody. Good pass. Ainge with a fake on Corsini. Good head fake. Danny Ainge. Point lead again for Boston. It looks to me like the Bulls are going to double anything down low that the Celtics try to use Mikhail or Paris. So it may end up in a lap of Danny Ainge and Dennis Johnson to win this ball game for the Celtics. Jordan. Oh, good pass. Corzine. Good. <laughs> Corzine, they were really going to him. The six points of the yes, game. Sneaky the and it's 110 to 1. Charles Ugly talking Bird shit. Bird with 34. I wonder what he was saying. On top of his 49 in game one on Thursday night. Two minutes left to go. Beautifully up top, Jordan Corzine. Here's the time. The go right back down low. This is the rebound. And the rebound by Oakley. And now Chicago One point game, will take the lead. Bulls led most of the way. 11 point Bulls in the first half. A 10 point lead in the second half. Well, Mike trying to get the miss. Celtics have fought back. Mike. Jordan. Short pass. Jordan. And it drops. And 50 points for Michael Jordan. That's yeah. what Dominique Wilkins had for the Atlanta Hawks yet. You get him moving left. And he's still, you think you're going to have an advantage, he's got to bring the ball back to you, but his leaping ability normally takes you right over the top. 11 on the clock. Oh. Good hands. Jordan is saying it was before the shot. Hmm. And that will result in a timeout with 2.10 to go on the clock of this heated affair. Tommy, let's see the Chicago Bulls do it at both ends of the floor of the sequence. Well, you've got to have a good rotating weak side of your defense. Good That's defense. Michael Jordan. Good defense. And he gets over there beautifully to start. And that was a morale build. He one on one. The other end. You know he ain't fast Kevin enough to keep up with MJ. Tell you about. Ah, put it in work. With that leaping ability, Jordan powers it through. Little pick and roll allows Corzine to get into the pack. And against Bird to throw up this swooping hook shot. So. The heads of the Bulls are into this win. Two, Two minutes, ten remaining. Ten seconds. One eleven, one ten. Chicago leading. Go with the bird. Parrish, guarded by Oakley. Oh, oh You've my been God! Good God! With two o one on the clock. Good God! And Charles Oakley has picked up his fifth personal foul. Rookie from Virginia Union, who has been as good as any rookie the second half of this year. Virginia Oakley. Union got some tough niggas coming out of there. Oakley, you got uh, Ben Wallace. A 90 percenter from the line. Now we'll try to tie it up for the Celtics. Very cocky kid. Loves to be in these type of situations. Ooh. We want to welcome the audience that saw the Washington Bullets and the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Dick Stockton and Tom Heinze. We're under two minutes to go in a tie game. The Celtics trying to take a two-point lead over the Bulls. The 76ers are one and one now with their victory Michael over Washington. Pitt. Michael Jordan Michael has been a sensation. Catch. Again, 52 
points for Michael Jordan. And Chicago leads by two. The leading scorers in this game, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. And the Bulls are within 134, becoming only the second team to beat the Celtics in the Garden this year. Harris, McHale, offensive rebound. Good luck. Knocked out of bounds. Celtics wanted goaltending. Jordan knocked it out of bounds. No call from the officials. Dick, we've seen the Bulls control the tempo of this game practically for the entire length. Slow it down and get the type of offense they wanted. And a timeout call by the Celtics. It's come down to this in the Boston Garden. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn with 125 remaining in the final period of the Chicago Bulls. Lead by two. The timeout story and the fouls situation, which has played a major role here. Bill Walton has already fouled out for the Boston Celtics. Dennis Johnson, Danny Ainge, and Larry Bird have five. Oakley with five and a host of people with four. Four may not be that much of a factor now unless we go into overtime. I want to remind you the final round action of the Heritage coming up next on CBS. Michael Jordan topped his first game effort. He has 52 points and Roger Volpe has a two-stroke lead at the Heritage. Jordan, by the way, also 16 points in this period. <laughs> Celtics trying to find the matchup that they that can be the most productive. They try to use Mikhail Corzine, did a decent job on him. Jordan fighting through the screen. Ten on the clock. Now he cares to pass. Damn. That was that was nice. Can you imagine he didn't make the All Star team? It may not be a more clutch, clutch backcourt performer in the league all around than Deep Dennis Johnson. As a double team, they went to Mike trying to get that Johnson shit too. Give me that shit. Oh no. And that's a great shot. Get over there quite quick enough. Dennis Scott got a chance for the three point play. So tough. He's a penetrating guard because he's 6'5 and he's got that solid body. He didn't take the outside shot, he took it to the hoop. Tough penetrator. Celtics by one. All right, Mike. All eyes on Jordan with 52. Oh. Short. But there's Oakley fighting in the shit. Robert Parrish picks it off, and the Celtics with under a minute to go has the lead by three. They get one fourteen. Oh, good. Man. Aims to pack the tail. Good pass. 27, Those are winning plays field. right there. Give up, give up a good shot for a better shot. In the Celtics story this year. 113-116. Boston. Wait a minute. You're going to see Danny Ainge make a very intuitive They played play him cheap McHale, and he made him pay. He's going to make it look like a shot to get the defense to relax and just lays it That's out a good there. pass. Nice he passed it to right to him. For Kevin McHale, what right where he was at a key point in the ball game. Next Saturday, 3.30 Eastern, and a doubleheader Sunday, starting at 1 o'clock. CBS will bring in the playoffs. Kevin McHale, the latest hero. And the Chicago Bulls have talked things over. 116 to 113, 45 seconds to go. Tommy? Well, I, if it doesn't go to Michael Jordan, I'll be very surprised. But what they really have to do, Mike, uh, the Celtics will be jumping at him, is on the shot by Jordan. If he misses, everybody bang the ball. Yeah, I mean, so it. Parrish, that'll be his fifth personal Damn. foul. Five on Robert Parrish. So they went to someone else other than Michael Jordan and Casey Jones. Well, they beat the, the Boston Press, and here's Oakley yeah, underneath. That's a foul. And there was the foul on Parrish. Bird had a hand on the ball. Boston went up and challenged Michael Jordan. Oakley, 66% from the line on the year. Four for five today. But when they pushed it up, the rest of the... Uh, All right. by two. One out of two. Chicago has to play defense right here. Half court press. And not allow the Celtics to score and perhaps not to foul. They'll get another possession. 
Jordan McCallum. Get the bird. Gotta watch the feathers. Whoa, that's gangster. Couldn't get it. It almost fell through though. That shit was right on line. Two point ball game. Chicago. Larry Bird threw up a wild shot. Paris seemingly had the ball, and there was Stan Allback looking on as Oakley ultimately wound up with the ball. That was a good defensive stand. And Stan right on it. Called the timeout, but his bird being double teamed, I think it was yeah, really he made that shoot. That shoot would have been Parrish has the rebound and a nice knock away by Jordan right into the hands of Oakley. Well, they got the ball to the man they wanted, Larry Bird. Uh, not the best judgment that time. He thought he might have gotten fouled. That's why he went to right. So oh, six no seconds to go, Tommy. The obvious thing is to let Michael Jordan do it, either outside or inside. He has a career high of 52 points. Tremendous effort by Michael Jordan. What are the options now for Stan Albeck other than Michael Jordan, or is that it? Well, he's uh, the Michael number Jordan. one guy. <laughs> Orlando. Him, but all the Celtics are going to be but running Michael out. Jordan. If they get the ball up to him quickly, <laughs> they'll be able to get a shot, a quick shot, and a potential rebound. Uh, more for the, the, the fact that the Celtics will be concerned about him, that's why I want the ball in his hands and hope that he makes the shot. If not, you've got almost a guaranteed shot at a good rebound opportunity. Bulls have one timeout left. They led most of the way in this game. 11 in the first half, 10 in the second. Something's <laughs> whittled If I'm a coach in this Mike. situation, I'm looking at Mike. Mike looking at me. The answer is Michael Jordan. <laughs> three after three period. And open up you know you're getting it. I know you're getting it. The world knows you're getting it. A little less it. than that. And Chicago fought back. Had the score tied it a couple of times. They went back and forth. And now it's a two-point game. The other question is, is Kyle Macy takes his jacket off. You go for three and try to gamble and win it all here. Well, you might because uh, the three-point play for Kyle Macy is an easy shot. Mike's been super aggressive in this, in this type of game. You got to be. You got to take it to him. may make the basket himself and get the foul. They got a couple of ways they can score three Because this team's here. way more talented. Time out left, six seconds to go. Paxson will inbound. And now the Celtics call a timeout. Is there something they saw? The lineup on the inbound play, I think. And who's in the ball game? They just recognized Macy was in there, I believe, and now they said, uh, let's talk it over what we're going to do with Macy. So now, what could hilarious. they do with Macy? Now they have several possibilities for outside shots, Jordan and Macy being just doing. Well, by putting Macy in the ball game, what you have is the potential of uh, the defense extending. All right, we'll be back with the finish. Which opens up more space for Jordan. The Chicago Bulls have given the Boston Celtics a tremendous battle today, but need give somebody, two give points Jordan to another time, option three to win, to kick it out to just in case Michael Jordan table. with a career high of 52 points on the heels of 49 in game one. Larry Bird with 34 points and 11 rebounds today. And talking about whether to go for three or two, keep in mind that Bird has five fouls, Parrish has five, Walton's out of the game, Chicago may be better off going for two, but who knows? They got Paxson and Macy in there. By having them in the lineup, that might extend the Celtics' defense. Whitman is in for Boston for defensive purposes. That's the change the Celtics made. Michael Jordan, Jordan get it and, and go, get it and go. Mike. Three seconds, three point shot, no good. He fouled on the play. <laughs> no time showing on the clock. Kevin McHale, holy shit. Kevin McHale has been called for the foul on Michael Jordan from he can't believe that shit. The three point line. Let's see what happens. Jordan with the tongue out. Looked like a foul. See how clutch he is. Overtime <laughs> in game two of our best of five first round NBA playoff. And the Chicago Bulls are trying Mike to said, I ain't going home the yet. Trailblazers have done so far this year. Beat the Celtics in Boston. 
are going to see it. We can't really see whether Kevin McHale fell or not. But boy, left. that shot, McHale has to go out there to react. And uh, whether the foul actually took place or not, I couldn't see because I was playing following the flight of the ball too. So McHale didn't think so. He was telling Larry Bird that when he went by, Jordan stuck out his arm and knocked himself down. But Stan Olbeck sees it the other way, of course. Sam Vincent had a bird's eye low view of all this, but that's an enhanced view. The thing is that everyone was looking at the ball with the exception of the official, one official was checking the ball, the other one was out there. Now, if you want to know whether the officials were in position to call it, the answer is yes. Ed Middleton was no more than five feet from Michael Jordan when he took the shot. In any event, we're going to overtime. I think Jordan created that foul because he, he extended his, uh, a career high. And as Mikhail was coming overtime by, session, real slick. Has three but hey. Timeouts. Boston still has a 20. He'll jump center with Woolridge jumping against Parrish. On the fourth foul, the team will get into the bonus. And the foul trouble situation becomes major now. As we have a slew of players with five. Something's control. Their biggest lead was four. Biggest lead for the Bulls was 11 in the first half. McHale against Corsi, double with Jordan. Oh, Loses the ball. oh, hey. Recovers it. Bird. Ames. Ames. Corzine the rebound for the rebound. As that double team again, they had trouble no finding Jordan open thirsty man. As hell. Mikhail normally was able to find and locate that open man. Jordan's 54 points ties John Havlicek for the fourth best individual's single game effort in playoff history. The Mike Mid-Range. Long range Jordan Cash. hits it. 56 for Jordan. And that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader, Bob Love, who had 56 in the game. And the Bulls lead by two. Does that kind of answer your question about whether it's tied or not? You don't start hitting outside shots like that, tailing the ball game if you're tied. I think he was used wisely in the offense the early part of the game by Stan Olbeck. Pick and roll. Oh, well. Rebound oh. by Oakley. And Chicago, with a little more than a minute gone by, with a two-point lead and content to walk it up four. 1-0 Celtics lead in the best of five. Philadelphia and Washington are tied 1-1 one one in their best of five series. Gives it up. Pick and roll is working beautifully for the Bulls. Woolridge. Woolridge, no good. Mikhail clears, and the Celtics looking to tie. Here's the bird. Bird with the pass. Good pass by Bird. Most of the game, Tommy on the floor. It takes willpower to create tempo to push it at the defense. They've been playing at the rhythm of the Bulls all afternoon long. 20 points in the ball game. Bird leads with 34. Jordan is 56. 10 on the clock. Bird is going in strong. No basket. They call him for the offensive foul. And that will be five on Orlando Woolridge. So Woolridge and Oakley have five fouls for Chicago. Bird, Parrish, Dennis Johnson, and Danny Ainge all with five for the Celtics. And they're all on the floor. Oh, good pass. Bird. Trying to feed inside. It's still Celtic ball with 2.55 on the clock. Age. Baseline. Fires it up. Bird. Damn. Bird pump. They should have. All inside. All right. Here comes MJ. 45 remaining in overtime. Jordan with the mismatch. Jordan did two free throws with no time on the clock. Jordan. Send it into OT. Great. Wild shot here. Celtics trying to take the lead. Danny Ainge pushing that shit. Harris is fouled by Paxson. So this is where we are. Game two, and the drama is not over yet here at the Garden. Philadelphia and Washington are one and one. The Nets and Milwaukee play later with the Milwaukee Bucks leading one to nothing in their best of five. And Atlanta will take a two-nothing lead to Detroit this week in their series. The Celtics right now on that defense were trying to disrupt the rhythm of uh, the, the Bulls offense by doubling people, taking the ball out of their hands and the people the Bulls want to have the ball. Michael Jordan Woolridge. And it's creating a little confusion for the goals. They're not going to get the good shots, it looks like, but Boston has to convert. And here goes MJ. Oh, DJ got some hands, boy. Yo, that was a phenomenal steal attempt. For the goals, 
DJ got hands. Jordan's a good ball handler. And he got five fouls. So that's a gutsy play. Two minutes to go. Good move. Could have been a foul, too. A good move. Watch this one. They're taking shots at each other. Yeah, the bird. Is Back to the post. Harris, oh. Here we go. All right, MJ trying to go to work. DJ gets back in position. MJ got to pass that thing. Give it back to MJ. Let him go one on one. Pull up. Cash. Good and a foul. And a big basket for the Chicago Bulls. And Jordan can give them a four point lead. 58 for Michael Jordan. Why isn't he tired right now? Well, he is tired. <laughs> you can see the man grabbing his shorts. He's saying, Why is he tired? That nigga this tired as hell. <laughs> They used them very wisely in the offense in the first part of the game. Yo, these commentators be blind as hell sometimes. If you were listening to this game, you would swear Mike wasn't sweating and shit. Grabbing the shorts. That's why you gotta watch these games for yourself, yo. Because even the commentators, they be capping like a motherfucker. For Michael Jordan, second best playoff ever in a single game to Elgin Baylor's 16. Mike Baller. For real. Seasting. Woo! That's an unbelievable shot. Damn, that's a tough shot. Mike, like, damn. They they hitting us from everywhere. Good patience. Mm. Missed couldn't hit, couldn't convert though. Harris and Seasting each have missed one important free throw here. Otherwise, this game would be tied. All right, minute left. Jordan one on one. Now, game, Playing on the one side of the court. Here goes McHale committing to the double team. They're pushing them baseline. Great play by Larry Bird. As he anticipated a pass out. They threw something different at him that he ain't seen all game. Good pass. Yeah, they, 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 they ambushed them last minute. That was a barely a fucking balling back then. That's ever against the Celtics regular season and playoff. And Baylor 61 was against the Celtics in a playoff game in April of 62. And that's the top performance in a playoff game. And Jordan is two points away from that. Meanwhile, Elgin Baylor went to cheat code mode. With one free throw to try to tie the game. Well, they put the freeze on him, try to chill him down. Let's see if Rabbit responds to the challenge. He had one of two before. <laughs> makes it up here. And the, and the interesting thing about Boston is, guys, the most interesting thing about Boston is hit, their big men can hit free throws too. So they're they're all around threats, bro. Like it's it's they're all legit. Like this shit's crazy. Here we go. Court. No good. Bird pushing the break. Bird. About to throw it away. Pump fake. Bird travel. And he travels. Larry Bird travel. And the Chicago's credit, they surrounded him in a hurry. 
when they were poking at the ball, and Larry really was looking over both shoulders to see where they were coming from, and that's what caused the walk. Double team Jordan get the ball out of his hand. And the Bulls with a chance to take the lead. Woolridge against McHale, going in against Hope. Damn, good follow through. With, with 22 seconds to go, the Bulls down two. 125, 123. And the Celtics will call a timeout and 15 seconds to try to tie it or win it in a fantastic playoff game from Boston Garden. That's a good follow look at Dave Corzine right here. Robert Parrish is supposed to block him off the boards, but he gets mesmerized by the penetration, and he lets Corzine step inside, and he uses it to good advantage for a beautiful key tip in to put the Bulls ahead by two. And here it was, Dave Corzine, one of the unsung leaders on the team, maligned at home by the Chicago crowd with the biggest basket as he's ever had. Eight points and eight rebounds, 15 seconds to go. For the Celtics to try to tie it or win it, trailing by They try to stop that post play. There ain't nothing they can do about it. You're going to leave a lot of people over. Danny Ainge is tilting this game, man. 12 seconds left. Chicago still has two timeouts. They'll use one of them now. Absolutely tilting this game. It looked like Ainge had easy sailing for that time layup. Well, they were looking to play Ainge for the pass, and once he got past Michael Jordan, Everybody went back to their own man, thinking he was going to penetrate and then pass. Nobody really made a real commitment mm. to him. So he just said, why not? I'll go all the way. Particularly Oakley. Danny Ainge with 22 points, all in the second half, as Bill Walton, who fouled out of the game, leading the cheers. But now the focus is on the Chicago Bulls. This is first round playoff action. Tonight, playoff action continues on several fronts in the NBA. The Milwaukee Bucks host the New Jersey Nets with Milwaukee leading 1-0. Denver is at home with a 1-0 lead over the Portland Trail Blazers in Dallas. We'll try to make it two in a row at Reunion Arena against Utah. Stan Holman, who coached the Spurs, coached Cleveland before that, and the Nets in his first year in Chicago in a topsy-turvy year with Quint Daly suspended with a drug problem. Injuries to a lot of people, including Jordan in the 60s. Spurs games. weren't really a good they really franchise back then, so they got like David Robinson. Robinson. I think David Robinson came in 89. They functioning so, so well and in developing the roles that I didn't think that they would be able to do, but uh, they have really been outstanding today. Let's not forget Juwan Oldham, the seven foot center, who is a great one of the top shot blockers in the NBA, who, if the series goes to four games, would be eligible to come back and hold him. Has had a broken cheekbone. He missed the last 18 games, and if Chicago can win here, he'll get a chance to play against the Celtics. But because they have won this, it's 125 all, 12 seconds to go in the first overtime session. Well, is Michael Jordan going to get it again? The Celtics are trying to keep the ball away from him. Got to get it from Jordan. Got to figure out a way to get it to Jordan. There goes Mike. Oh. Tie ball game, y'all. Two, ball two seconds left. Remaining. And now Boston can have the last lap. Tommy, it looked like Jordan had his shot here. If they did get him the ball. He had a good shot. I'm going to get it to you. And he does. And he's going to about to trip over his own damn feet. He a better shot than that <laughs> from a player of Jordan's caliber. But he misses. And Bird alert. That looked like it was on line, too. Bird with 34. Be a McHale, 27. Ames, 22 all this half. We'll get to the heritage as soon as this one is history. What does Boston do now with two seconds on the clock? Some kind of uh, pass, either in, dead in the corner, I think, for Larry Bird, or a lob pass over the top, close to the basket, maybe to McHale. But yeah. they've got Seasting in there, who might also, or Whitman, 
for that outside bomb. That's what you're hoping to get. That's right one thing now. about the Celtics the team. They're not going to beat themselves, Baseball especially at home. Last year, the Celtics were hard pressed especially by the home. Cleveland Cavaliers. They went to four games, but they were tough games. Next comes in the game, replacing Oakley Tom for quickness purposes to get out there against the outside shooters. Age will inbound. Bird has so Bird. It. one second to go. Ah. And we go to second overtime. Larry Bird coming off the screen. And the same kind of a shot he hit on that wild <laughs> free And we go to double overtime here at Boston Garden. The score. 125-125. It slips right behind the defense and gets in there. They go to double team him, but Woolrich was right That's on the shooting That's good defense by Woolrich, because if he wasn't there, that shit was right on the line. Shots, of course, but that shit would probably would have been passed. Best shooters, best players, taking that outside shot, neither one made it. Watch Look at this. That's angle. great effort. Right that shit was team. right on the line. I know that we're not into the finals. And the drama of the finals, but you know, this is kind of like the, the shades of the Boston Celtics and the Phoenix Suns in the three overtime <laughs> game that you remember. Remember that one? <laughs> I remember it very well. I'll tell you, yeah, I faked it in the action, you know? Let's get to the action. They talking too much. All right, now we go to a second overtime. Now, as the game goes on, is there any kind of. Uh, any kind of emphasis that maybe shifts when you get into a second five-minute session? Well, I think right now Danny Ainge is uh, saddled with five fouls, and if he uh, ends up fouling out, one of their good outside shooters goes by the boards, and then Rick Carlisle or somebody else maybe uh, will have to come in David Thurkill to try and play Jordan, good. and that could be a big, big factor. Uh, the inside game, I don't see any of those guys fouling out for the Celtics. Walton has fouled out as you look at Red Auerbach and Don Gaston. The legend. Don Gaston, one of the owners, along with Alan Legendary Cole. Legendary Red. Paul DePee. Bird with five fouls. I'm going to Red Auerbach ain't playing no game. Walton and Dennis Johnson have already fouled out for Chicago. Team. Charles Austin and Orlando Real. Woolridge both have five fouls. One of the greatest coaches ever. Harris and Woolridge will jump again. They've done this before. Middleton will toss it up five minutes. Three timeouts tip. apiece. Boston still has a 20 that they have at their behest. And penalty bonus on the fourth team foul. They had to go right at Danny Ainge, it looks like. Yep. try to. Get them out the game. Ainge is guarding. So they got to get their shit to do it. Oakley comes outside. Now Woodridge gets it Good in. Good defense. Bird came and got his ass from behind. Bird also was good at stealing the ball, too. You turn your back on him, he'll figure out a way. Bird. Rick. Oakley. All Chicago red shirts underneath, and now the Bulls will slow it up and set it up here. Michael Jordan has 59 points, and the most points scored in one game ever in the playoffs is 61. By Elgin Baylor. Rick. We're good. Third, the aim. Good pass. Good patience by Sace Bird getting to where he wants. Mid range jumper. Pass. Bird is so cold. Man. He just knew how to play, man. Find Larry Bird. 36 points for Larry Bird. Seasting on Paxson. Mikhail giving Woolrich that shot. Woolrich going into the hook. Oh, Good Woolrich move. Nonetheless. And 24 points now for Orlando Woolrich. We're tied. Well, uh, see, Orlando, you're going to win it for us in the second overtime. Let's take a little blow. Speaking of Orlando, he's on Oh, he spun around, but couldn't hold on, on to it. And it was last hit off of Woolrich, who was out of bounds. So the Celtics will maintain possession. 12 seconds on the shooting clock. Oakley, Corzine, Jordan, Paxson, and Woolridge are out there for Chicago. Parrish, Bird, Seasting, Ames, and McHale for Boston. Back to Bird. Bird, Bird gives double team. Seasting pass. That is absolutely the wrong guy to leave on a double team right now because Bird is going to look for him. And a little trap action defensively by the Celtics. Paxson brings it across. Under three minutes to go in the second overtime. Good so MJ. We're 116 apiece after regulation. Good pass. Long after one overtime. Corsi, Woo! No basket. Travel before the shot. Oh, man. That's a heartbreaker right there. And now the Celtics with a two-point lead at position. A little pick-and-roll play is 
causing the Celtics trouble. They're switching on to Michael Jordan, and Corzine is getting a mismatch against the little guy. Mikhail, Zeeson, all alone in three-point territory. Bird coming out. Good bird. Good pass. No good. Throws it away. Long pass. Woolridge. Woolridge in the crowd. Oh. Boston ball. You know, Tommy, you wonder whether the Celtics looking for three points are saying to themselves, we've had enough of this Chicago team. Let's just blow them out here. That's a foul. Well, they got to go find some place to, to, to get that shot. Seaston's the guy. They should be looking at a double Kale team. gets the ball. Double they team. Swing, swing. Pass. Ain't much killing the middle, bro. The noise, too much for this young Titan. <laughs> but he'll take it. This is the excitement of the game. So now it's 131-127. Chicago has the ball. And keep in mind that man, Michael Jordan, who has 59 points, has missed his last four shots. Well, he finally might be getting tired. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He should have been tired an hour and a half ago. Mike he one on one. Mike going to work. Cash. Hits it and has 61 points Clutch. to tie Elgin Baylor's all time. Clutch shot. Single game playoff. See if the Bruins can get another stop. Against the East Celtics 24 years ago. Going right back to their bread and butter. Mikhail. Brick. Jordan the rebound. And with a minute and a half to Bruins play. Bruins have a chance. Outside shooting. They were getting killed. Jordan. Mike going away from the double team, getting Jordan. to a spot. Cash. Oh, That's a tough shot. Oh, Michael Jordan. That was a fantastic goal. I mean, he went over three guys that time. No one has ever scored more points in a single playoff game in NBA history than Michael Jordan. A minute to go. There goes McHale. Good pass. Seaston ready. He got that thing cocked and loaded. The Celtics regain the lead, and if you don't think Jerry Seaston has been maybe the missing ingredient to the Celtics this year, just see what he's done in this game. Lost the stats. Yeah. But big eight points. An incredible shooting. They went down and doubled at the last instant, and Seaston got All right, Mike with the ball again. One on one. Great. Damn. Not to be denied, he grabbed it away from Oakland. Celtics with 24 seconds to go. And 17 on the shot clock. Lead by two, and this is a critical possession. How many times have we said that? 10 on the third. Good pass. Mm. They're just too skilled down low, man. Just too skilled. Too much work, man. You leave the shooters wide open, you have to double team. He didn't do much most of the game, was in foul trouble, but when they needed the chief, he was there to hit the big shot. First game is big rebound at the other end. I'll tell you a big rebound, and somebody hit him at the ankles, I think. The great timing. I nah, mean, ain't nobody touching. going down and getting his foot trapped. Got it up the court, and a little pick and Good pass by Bird. Through the hoop. Good shot. And just by Paris. Up with it. The Chief. That's pressure basketball, making the big ones when they count. They got nine seconds remaining. Look at Rick Carlisle. <laughs> out. And they need two possessions, really. A three-pointer, and they need a possession again. I'm very impressed with the real confidence of Jerry Seasting at key points. It's going to give yeah, he was money. If he, he was money in this game. Well with confidence in Seasting to use them 
and real key situations Jordan, what down the stretch. Stuff? He is going to be, <laughs> might end up in the playoffs being the designated double team breaker when the Celtics really try to exploit that inside game. They'll go to Chicago to play what the Bulls hope if they do not come back and win this one. Two games at Chicago Stadium. It's a best of five. The Celtics are nine seconds away from taking a two to nothing lead. But they won't escape out of here without the fight of their lives, especially on their home turf, where they have lost only one time all year. Washington and Philadelphia are tied one and one in their series. Atlanta has a two nothing lead over Detroit. And Milwaukee will try to take a two nothing lead over the Nets later tonight. Next weekend, we'll be with you Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. And then a doubleheader Sunday, beginning at 1 o'clock Eastern, as the NBA playoffs on CBS continue. You know, the other surprise is that Danny Ainge has not fouled out with Michael Jordan handling that ball. Or so didn't foul out either. Well, I'm saying Ainge yeah. played very smart right. defense. He knew he had to stay in this game. Especially with Dennis Johnson fouling out. Right. Yeah. Nine seconds to go. Danny Ainge was big. Their guard steps up the wrist. They don't get a steal. And now mm -hmm. the Celtics use a foul and chop off the second. will result in the bonus, so they had one foul to give in the overtime. Paxson looking inbound, Woolridge, six seconds, Woolridge for three, Lee Shorts. Ah, I don't like that. I would have gave it to Jordan in that situation. And a hard fought victory. I would have gave that one to Jordan. Well, you guys, that's the game, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this watch party with me. I had fun going over this game. Uh, game two goes to Boston, man. Jordan put on a hell of a performance, gave it all he had. Unfortunately, shit, the guards got hot too. <laughs> Damn, Boston was stacked. But anyways, this is the Kobe Bryant film room, AKA the Michael Jordan film room. And if you haven't, like and subscribe to Kobe Bryant film room, Michael Jordan film room, and I'm also a contributor with the Behind the Bench Sports Network. Shout out to Who is Hendo. Uh, shout out to Big Dog Talk Sports. Kelvin, JB, Jermaine, uh, um, Rashad. Shout out to those guys, man. Uh, those guys uh, are putting in work on that channel. We're going to bring you more content on this channel as well. More Michael Jordan material. And... Uh, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace. From the east with them beats that be thorough Got the solar gravitation so I'm bound to pull it I gets down like brothers are found Ducking from bullets wow. Gun control means using both hands in my land yeah. Where it's all about the cautious living uh -huh. Migrating to a higher form of consequence Compliments uh -huh. are struggling That shouldn't be notable Man, every word I say should be a hip-hop I'm sick of bitches shaking asses I'm sick of talking about blood Sick of Versace glasses Sick of slang Sick of half-ass award shows Sick of name-brand clothes uh -huh. Sick of r &B bitches over bullshit tracks uh -huh. Cocaine and crap, which uh -huh. brings sickness to black Sick of swole head rappers with they sickening raps, claps and gaps, making the whole sick world collapse. The facts are getting sicker, even sicker perhaps. I stick a push to make a bundle to escape the synapse. Man, life can get all up in your ass, baby. You better work it out. Now let me tell you what it's all about. A skin not considered equal. A meteor has more right than my people who be wasting time screaming who they've hated. That's why the native tongues has officially been reinstated. Loving to love mad sex, loving to
to love guns Love for opposite, love for fame and wealth Love for the fact of no longer loving yourself, uh -huh. kid We living in them days of the man-made ways Where every aspect is vivid Word. These brothers no longer talk shit, hey, yo These niggas living About to give it to you 24-7 on the microphone Plug one, translating the zone one, No offense to a player, but yo, I don't play And if you take offense, fuck it, got to be that way JD Dub, What's show your up? love. What's What's you got? What's say? Up? I say Jesus make you make it out of high regard. And niggas dying for it nowadays ain't hard. Ain't Investing hard. in fantasies and not God. What? Welcome to reality, see time is hard. People try to snatch the credit but can't claim the card. Showing out in videos saying they co-star. Hey, see Bye. shit like that'll make your mama cry. Better watch the way you spend it cause the stakes is high. You know them stakes is high when you're dealing with the... Bye. Is high. I think that smiling in public is against the law what? Cause love don't get you through life no more It's who you know and how you son And how you getting in and who the man holding you yo. And how was the skins and how high Yo what up huh? I heard you caught a body Seem like every man and woman shared a life with John Gotti But they ain't organized Mixing crimes with life enzymes Taking the big scout route and niggas no doubt Better than they know they daughters and they sons Yo people go through pain and still don't gain Positive contact just like my main man who got others cleaning up his physical and blues. Uh -huh. His mind got congested. He got the non and blue in neighborhoods are now hoods. Cause nobody's neighbors, just animals surviving with that animal behavior yeah. under eye. Who be rhyming from dark to light sky. Yeah. Experiments with needles and skin connect. No wonder where we live is called the projects. When the mistakes is high, you damn sure try to do anything to get the piece of the pie. Yeah. Electrify, even die for the cash. But at last, we be out, even though you're wanting more. This issue was closed like an elevator door But soon we open once we get to the next floor with the